Greetings! Welcome to another episode of Seraph Plays Fallout. I am your intrepid host, Resplendent Seraph. Somewhere around here is my uh, troublesome co-host, Cleo, my cat roommate, who fortunately hasn't managed to hunt anything successfully this week, but she is still a cat, and therefore she is still a vortex of adorable chaos. So greetings, everyone! Um... Let's see. Last time we played, we maxed out Deacon's Affinity while we were doing the quest Human Error, and we ended up wiping out the town of Co uh, Covenant. And from there, we uh, ended up actually getting to the main quest. We have now slain Kellogg. The Brotherhood of Steel has arrived, and we are now adventuring with Kate. Uh, we actually grabbed Kate at the beginning of last session. Uh, last stream, rather. I always end up conflating RPG terms. It's like, okay, time for the recap. And I'm used to playing games like D&D &D or, you know, any of the assortment of White Wolf games. So sometimes I say session when I really mean stream. So pardon me, forgive me. <laughs> as we uh, as we kind of navigate this little bit of a very, very brief recap. But in any event, why don't we get started here on this lovely Saturday while we wait to, for people to file in here. Assuming, uh, assuming you guys aren't already here, well, ladies and gents, I use, <laughs> I use that term uh, in a very gender, uh, uh, vague, uh, gender neutral way. But yes, ladies and gents, as uh, unless you're here already, feel free. I and as I, oh, I always say, lurker, uh, chat to your heart's content. But let's get this show started here. We already tweaked our uniform a little bit. We were going to do a little bit more last stream, but Cleo decided that she needed to see her David Attenborough. And so uh, that was that was it. That was that was the end of stream last time. She was not going to be denied. She wanted to see her nature show. Uh, and so that was that was that. So let's see where we were. Yep, this looks about right. Perfect. So, uh... Basically, what we're trying to do right now is we're going to be heading east to deal with Finch Farm, to deal with a quest that came in through the radio a while ago. So Abraham Finch has a mission for us. We're going to eventually go uh, where at the moment we're trying to do that. There's Kate. Good. Okay. So I'm actually not really thrilled with this mod's look of her, but at this point we've already we've already done it, so we're kind of stuck with it. I mean, I could go in um, looks menu and readjust her look, but I don't see the point of that. Couldn't have benefit. Better myself. She does like that, which we like. All right, so we don't want to go north. We want to generally be tracking this way. This way. I could fast travel, but let's get reacclimated to the wasteland while we maneuver through here. Let's see what do we got here while we're going through all this rain. Back off. Mine. Yeah, all right, fine, Scaver. I don't know, maybe I could have talked to her, but I'd rather not start a fight if I don't have to. <laughs> I don't know what would have happened if we had tried to talk to her. I wonder... I don't think we're hearing the light, the thunder, but I think it's because we loaded the game. Oh, oh, no, no. We don't want to be this north. We do not want to be this north. I mean, we could clear that location. Ugh. Fuck. All right. Uh, no. No, I'd really rather not unless I have to. Uh, although I usually don't like using it as a settlement. Shit. What did we stir up? Fucking blood bugs. Damn it. There we go. Gotcha that time. Where's this? Ah, you're stuck in there. Man, I still. There we go. Once I get a certain perk, I think it's... Show a girl a good time. Where is that perk? I know it's in agility. Blitz. Once we get Blitz, 
we'll uh, we won't be nearly at the whim of melee ranges. But at the moment, we really don't even have a good weapon. We're gonna solve that this stream. You know what? We are gonna solve that this stream. I think we might even solve that sooner rather than later. Okay, so here are the train tracks. We can follow those down. Yeah, there's that bombed out house that usually has a couple of insects in it. Actually, I still remember my very, very, very first playthrough. I found my first legendary in here when a legendary insect spawned. But it doesn't look like there's anything here. And we'll take the plastic spoon. Oh, there's that iBot advertising Cambridge Polymer Labs. Alright, well. I do appreciate not having to worry about anything attacking us in there. That was nice. Can I get inside either of these? Oh, I can get inside this one. But is there anything worth getting? No. There was nothing in here. Shit, am I now trapped? Nope, I'm not trapped. I think something got close to Outpost Simonja. Oh, there's a piece of power armor in there. And a good one. T60. Pretty cool. And the terminal is how we would access that. I'm not going to bother right now. Let's see. Our destination at the moment, I believe, is Finch Farm. We could either go there or... How do I want to start this off? Or do we go to Good Neighbor and do the old Cabot House quest? What level are we? We're level... Well, we're only level 40. So, my concern is this... This quest ends up being somewhat of a challenge. So you know what? Let's head south. Let's go to Good Neighbor. And let's get at least the vanilla non-DLC best weapon in the game. At least in my humble opinion, what uh, what's the best weapon, melee weapon in the game. It's fast, it has bleed. It'll be good. And it's not that ridiculous of a quest. Okay, now we're starting to track a little more west. I don't want to fight whatever mole rat. I think that's probably a mole rat. Ow. This is itchy. I don't mind hoping it as long as there's some excitement at the end of the road. <laughs> Gee, Kate, why don't you just tell me you're bored without telling me you're bored? It's oh, one of my provisioners. Okay. Not hostile. That's is really good for figuring out if something's hostile or not. I don't usually end up in this particular area of the Commonwealth very often. This is also kind of a nice warm-up while we kind of go through here. If memory serves me correctly, typically there ends up not being a whole lot to do in this general region of the Commonwealth. Although the more east we go, the closer to Salem we'll get, and those areas end up being pretty interesting. We will eventually work our way to Salem. I don't think I did that on my previous playthrough. Ah, good. We're starting to get close to Covenant now. Uh, do I just... Yeah, good neighbor is what we ultimately want. You know what? Let's just... That's okay. Let's just fast travel. I know I usually don't try fast traveling, but at this point... We have the loading screen to deal with anyway. All right. Oh, it went so far. Night fell. That's okay. Let's buy some ammo. I hope you're buying. Even a girl with an arsenal full of weapons needs to make a living after all. <laughs> sure. Let's take a look. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. We're mostly just looking for ammo here. We will definitely take the 44, we'll take the 10 millimeter, and we will definitely take the 2 millimeter, or the, uh, yeah, 2 millimeter electronic cartridge. Let's see, at this point, we don't really need this. We don't need 38. We don't need 45. We don't need 50. Just in case, oh, we don't need that fusion core either. I rarely use missiles. rest of this ammo, we could potentially end up with plasma 
or uh, you know electro other electronic weapons that are good. So let's not do that, but we will. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of those San Francisco satellites. They actually weigh money. <laughs> Same with the stingwing barbs. I don't know why I picked them up. That was stupid on my part. There we go. Why bother with that? You open in a museum or something? Um, it's literally ammo, Kate. It's good shit. So, fun, uh, fun fact out here. There's a terminal upstairs, and if we hack it, there we there's like a plan for Cleo where she wrote down all of her plans of taking out everybody in Good Neighbor <laughs> if she needs to. It is uh is pretty funny. Here, let's go into the old state house here. Let's say hi to Hancock finally. I actually don't remember if there is Mother a of steel better stay out of Good Neighbor. All I'm saying. Oh, and everybody's got something to say about the good old Brotherhood of Steel. And here's Fahrenheit. I heard you walked that freedom trail. What, you some kind of, what do they call it? History buff? <laughs> I'm just making sure there is no uh, magazine in here. I don't believe there is. If there's a magazine, it's going to be upstairs with, um, with Hancock here. Now, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time. Flying ship? <laughs> Join the railroad. Interesting that that would be up here. Yeah, I don't think there is Too one. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next super mutant attack rolls around. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? Looking for work. Work, huh? Mm. I'll tell you what. I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. I might be interested, but let's talk money, Hancock. Okay. Usual job pays 200, but I like you. So let's push it to 250. You said things have gone quiet up there. That means extra risks to cover. I like where your head's at. Let's make it 300 caps. The beauties of the charisma build. If you can't put real money on the table, I'm out. Ruthless. Nice. You might actually live long enough for me to pay you. All right. 400 caps. But that's all the town coppers can bear. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. All right. So we already got the drinking buddy quest, and we already got the hallucinogen quest. So that was the only last one we really needed to get around here. But I hadn't gotten it up until this point. Now we can go into Pikmin Gallery and wow. scout the place out. This place is a shite hole. And here I thought it couldn't get any worse than the combat zone. <laughs> Can't oh. believe it. He looked just like Sammy too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town. They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell his mother? Hey, just your friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down Institute spies as they crop up. Good job, guys. What happened here? Ah, poor Sammy got snatched up by the Institute. Then those bastards send this low-rent double in his place. It's pathetic. They didn't make it two days before everyone realized something was wrong with him. Then we made the call, and here we are. Speaking of which, I gotta figure out where this body needs to get dumped. Why don't you get going? I will do just that. When we're ready to resume the main quest, we'll head back to Diamond City. And we'll do that in a little bit. But I do want to... deal with... Um, getting our, our good melee weapon here. It's something I've dragged my feet on, and this seems to be a good time to do it. But when we head out to DC, I'll also end up... finally revising our uh, character Violet's hair. Wait, what was that? Oh. This is just mass fusion. Thought for a second there was a door I didn't uh, see before. I was just 
looking too care. Oh, f fuck's sakes. These guys are going to be back, aren't they? Yep. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's not worth... Not worth finding out. Let's just go with the long way. Yeah, there's the Brotherhood of Steel. This is where we picked up that badass uh, Magnum. Boston Bugle Building. I wonder what these guys are shooting at. Oh, there they are. Hmm. Well, we're not off in that direction, so let's just head this way. For now. And there's Cabot House being patrolled by sentry bots. I think of Mr. That's just a Mr. Handy, but there's a sentry bot somewhere around there. We don't have to worry about Haymarket Mall. Though I really should just clear out Haymarket Mall at some point. And deal with this. Fucking raiders. Although we were out here late. Man, that was more laggy than I'm used to. I figured it out. I think these raiders are still dead. Nope. They're back. Wow. Frame rate tank there for a second. Okay. Shit. Started moving. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. Think I did the same thing again. Damn it. Something's ghost in us. Fucking A. Nice job, Seraph. Fine. Talk about how not to do that. Unbelievable. Don't leave anything behind that might be useful. No worry. All right, let's do Pikmin Gallery in a better way than we did before. Obviously, the intention there was to toss the grenade down the alley. Go. The slippery bastard got away before. But Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. I heard Pikmin skin Roy alive after he snatched him. Let the rats get at him. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. Damn, I thought I got that guy. He's unstoppable. Quit playing games and come up where I can see you. Come on in. Got him that time. <laughs> this is gonna be a piece of cake. Cover me. Man, they keep just running right into there. Headshot. Ooh, right around here. There it is. Nice. We'll do the level up thing in a second. Okay, they're up. Boom! <laughs> okay. Both of them are still upstairs. Let's just run upstairs here. So we don't have to worry about getting ganked on the way out. <laughs> you were shooting the wrong wall, jackass. All right, now let's see if there's anything up here. Melon, beer. Ooh, we'll take the economy. Wonder glue. Actually, some decent shit in here. We'll take the hot plate. All right. Let's take a look around. Raxo cleaner. So, if we uh, didn't have the ability to pick the one lock, what we can do... No, that's not what I was looking for. This is just a cap stash. But somewhere up here is a key for the door that's downstairs. We're going to pick it because we'd rather have the XP. But I know there is a lock up, or there is a key up here. Oh, that's right. There's also this workbench. Take that. The lead is nice, but it ends up just being a 
Whoa, glad we didn't... Oh, well, somebody set this off already. One of these assholes must have. You know, I could swear there was a key in that crawl space. Maybe it was just that... Um, We'll take that. There really isn't a key up here, huh? Could have sworn there was a key to be had somewhere up here. <laughs> the raider is a lamp chandelier thing. Oh my god, that's fucked up. Screwdriver, adjustable wrench. It's not worth it. Yeah, the table knife is nice and light. All right. Well, I guess that's uh, that's that. Let's head down. I don't think there's. Oh, I could take the blue table lamp off that guy, theoretically. Yeah, let's just check, make sure there isn't anything salvageable up here. I'll take the 308 round. Those are weightless. Tons of dead letters. There we go, we got Pikmin's calling card. He's all Pikmin's calling card. Yeah, we'll take the glass. Sure, it's nothing. Ooh, Wonder Glue. Yeah, this guy, this guy's got nothing. Someone made a mess of this place, eh? Oh, yeah. You have no idea, Kate. All right, let's head down. Sure, I'll take my frag grenade, start replenishing my supplies. Yeah, sure, we'll take some bone. Yeah, all right. Let's take a look here. <laughs> Pelvic bones. All sorts of really fucked up shit. Yeah, this quest is uh, almost like not for the faint of heart. There we go. Message to Jack. That's what we needed. All right, so at this point, we could return to Hancock. It's an interesting uh, painting, and if we go up to it, we can actually look for it. We can actually activate that, but we're going to do that in a little bit. Be war money. Actually, fuck it. Let's just do it now. You know what? I've never done this first. So let's do this first. Because we can pick this lock. Oh, there it is. Ah. I blew it. There it is. Yes. And boom! There we go. Okay. So now we could go back. Now we've got Pikmin's Blade as our... So it's number one, it's our legendary weapon. It's fast. Doesn't really do a lot of damage, but compared to the Switchblade... Oh, actually, that's a... That's actually a fairly decent one. Oh, it's actually very similar to Pikmin's Blade. Increase damage to lower your health. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. This is obviously much better. Three points of bleed damage per second every five seconds. Hell yeah. Oh, let's also level up. Mm. I mean, at this point... Shit, man. So we got a couple of questions. I do want to continue working our way up to get... Blitz and eventually gun foo over here. Those are going to be really, really useful. But being able to get some really good armor is also very fucking useful. Plus, I think the requirements for that end up being really up there. Oh, no. We, get, we gotta do Gun Nut. Yeah. Gun Nut 4, that's, that's a no-brainer. I just realized we finally qualified for Gun Nut 4. We'll take the blood pack. You're gonna drag that junk around. Yes, I am, Kate. Yes, I am. We do break a bunch of these locks on Masters. There it is. That's it. Okay. You know, I'm pretty sure it was a way to fall in here, but maybe not.
Maybe there wasn't a way to fall in here. I thought there was. Clearly, clearly not. Huh. There really isn't. I could have sworn there was a way to just drop down in here. <laughs> I love how Kate uh, immediately has the sense to not like where we are. Because, yeah, this is not a great place to be. Take the used oil can. Oh, boy. <laughs> so clearly, uh, we got some interesting shit going on. Forever, you sick bastard. Cut that fucker's little uh, monologue short. Good, we're starting to get all of our uh, stim packs back. We used a shit ton of them earlier. I don't think there's anything else here. Nope. Not going any closer to that nuclear barrel. If we don't make it, we can go that way. No, nope, damn it. I didn't hit the damn jump button right. What? Peekaboo! Fuck. If I find you, you're gonna regret it. Well, that was annoying. Yeah, yeah, you little bastard. Oh, come on, Sarah, climb the fucking chair. Yeah, let's just do this. Oh. I can barely see the fucker. The vats is definitely an asset here. Yeah, they're above us. But I don't see them. Fortunately, those were just scratches and grazing. <laughs> All right, were those the two I heard earlier? No, I think they're still up here. No sign of them now. That's what I'm worried about. Hey, let's go eat. I'm starving. <laughs> At least one of them had enough yeah, sense to be I'm like, right. yeah, that's what I'm worried okay, about. You hear me? You're a dead man. Dan, I'm forever, Pikmin. Wait all day wow. You show yourself. I hit him twice in the head and he didn't die. It's fucking amazing. Ah, he took a stim pack or something. Man, that fucking raider veteran was uh, more of a challenge than I feel like he should have been. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like picking up that. The copper is useful, though. You could hunt and torture our people to your heart's content. I'm fucked. Time to I can't, I can't see. Oh shit. Bastards. Hey. <sighs> that was close. Thank you. Those people deserve worse than death. Why did they want you so badly? A small disagreement. They objected to my hobby of 
collecting their heads. Let me repay you. If I let you live. I'm helping you just by doing what I love. Why squander such gifts? If you visit my house again, look deep within my painting, Picnic for Stanley, and you will find my gratitude. You'll need this. Well, here's something you don't come across every day. There isn't a stack of dirt anywhere. Hell no, Pikmin. <laughs> Reading that now. Really? We'll take the mini nuke. Yeah, no, that guy is fucking crazy. Even if you are killing uh, raiders. Let's see. What's the difference between that and the Magnum Auto Loader I've got? Uh, yours is not modded, so yours sucks. We'll take the lock picking yes. model head, however. Bingo. Okay. Yeah, I probably didn't want to pick that up, but oh well. That's enough out of that. I don't care if he's a serial killer that only hunts raiders, but uh, <laughs> he's, he's still a serial killer. Uh, I don't remember if there's anything actually up here or not. I don't think there is. No, there is not. Good. Let's get the hell out of here. And now we go back to Good Neighbor. Let's just fast travel there. The loading screen anyway. We'll report back to Hancock, get our money. Life is good. Hmm. Hell, we could end up going to Diamond City and doing a bunch of Diamond City quests. How's my little scout doing? You find out what's happening at Pikmin Gallery? <laughs> How do I even start? You know why they called it the Pikmin Gallery? No, that was the point of the whole job, remember? What are you trying to say? <laughs> oh God, it was awful. Pikmin was a serial killer and he was using dead bodies for his art. Oh, seriously? That's messed up, even for this town. I'll put the word out to avoid that place. Good work. You ended up in the abyss, but you crawled back in one piece. Here's your money. Never try chess. Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Good old Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah. This is the way we need to go, right? Or is it the other one? I think it's the other one, actually. I always forget which door is the one I want to actually get. Yeah, the other door was the one I wanted. You sticking around? You'll need to join the crew. I hear Bobby No Nose is looking. Always a catch with the No Nose, but she pays. <laughs> and just like that, we can now go to Bobby and get that quest. We are not doing that yet. I like doing. Uh, I like doing quests in a certain order in Good Neighbor. I think at this point, we're going to head... Hey, Crosshair, what's going on, buddy? How's your weekend going? I think we're going to go to DC and find the main quest here pretty fast. But we're also going to finally... Uh, where's now the time? Now, let's do the main quest, because it really does make sense to do the main quest now. Really does. Okay, there's nothing in that trash can. Fortunately, Diamond City is not far. <laughs> yeah, now that the Brotherhood's here, the uh, vertebrate patrols have really begun in earnest. Oh, we got a Raider veteran. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Not for that. What do you have? 
take that. Got ghouls. That interesting. And time to loot. Or no? That's new. Let's see what the story is at. Finally got someone to teach me how to make an edit. Oh, nice. Very cool. Let's see. Do I want to go that way? Oh my goodness, this whole place is just one gigantic war zone. Yeah, we're just gonna let, we're gonna leave them to that. <laughs> Yeah, we've already been into the Boylston Club. We've been down in the vault. Jeez, man. As long as that vertebrate isn't crashing, I think we're okay. We made Fallout Ghoul edit. Right? <laughs> hey, Phoenix Nade, what's going on, buddy? Aww. Back Brahmin got ganked. Probably by these raiders. Fucking assholes. Hey, buddy. Got revenge for the poor hapless caravaner. Clean the office. So lurk mod engaged. Ah, lurk mode engaged. <laughs> Excellent. I appreciate the lurk. We're gonna turn that radio off since let that run. Do do do. Oh right, we could go and finally get this magazine. Now we have enough uh, overdue books. Let's do that. <laughs> I love how sometimes the super mutants will still like re-keel over as they spawn back in. Turn over new books. Yes. Perfect. Now we will spend tokens and now we will finally get this. Yes. There we go. Now we got the this journal. Him. And now we got that one. Oh yeah, missed that apparently. Shit, if there's a fucking overdue book in one of these that I missed before, I'm gonna be so mad. All right, but there isn't. Missed those earlier. That reminds me, I should really specify Psychojet and uh, you know what, that's what we're gonna do. Let's do that. Let's go to aid. First things first. Let's specify that as Let's play that as eight. We'll go to drugs, psychojet, and that's gonna be nine. Hell yeah. Okay, perfect. Good, good, good. And there's the Dartmouth building, which. Oh, goodness gracious. Good. They're far enough away where they're not fighting us, though. That's good. So now that we're close to Diamond City, here's a nice little area that we haven't gone to because we haven't generally been on this side of Diamond City. But if you go in here, it's a nice little place where you could cook stuff. Oh, right, we can't use that while there's combat going around. But, uh, yeah, I would imagine this would be a really nice place for survival because you could just kind of come in here, you could sleep, you don't have to buy anything. And, um, anyway. Well. That's a Brotherhood Patrol. Holy shit!
Well, that was almost bad. Holy, holy crap. Well, are there any bodies to loot? <laughs> no, no bodies to loot. That would have been convenient, though. Jesus. All right, well, that was an interesting way to approach Diamond City. Two vertebrates crashing ne right near us. Yeah, I know you would toss it, Kate. And here are the obligatory dogs. Okay. Yeah, I didn't need that. But sure, we'll take this stuff anyway. All right, and then we'll drop off this crap in Hangman's Alley. All right, we've connected that, haven't we? But we have not connected it. We should. We should absolutely connect you to Oberlin Station. All right, that's a mistake I will correct in a minute. Once we talk to Valentine here. What did you end up using to uh, do those edits, Crosshair? Did you end up using uh, DaVinci Resolve or uh, something like uh, ClipChamp? Piper's not going to be here. All right. Let's save. And it's time. It is time. I'm going to take off the militia hat and the glasses. Around here, we call your haircut the scav special. Little flecks of blood, give it the personal touch. <laughs> you should think about getting a trim. Hmm. Sure. Maybe a new color, huh? Sit down. Let's take a look. At this point, I've got resources now where I don't have to just tie my hair up in a bun. I'm thinking... Style... Take a second. Already at the very top. Yep, okay. Man, the game is really laggy today. Of course... <sighs> there it goes. Sort of. There's usually a decent one. Man, it's really, it's really tr struggling, isn't it? Time for squirrel bits and Nuka Cola, right? How you doing, Ghosty? Now nah, I'm not feeling that haircut right now. So let's go to. Oh my goodness! Depending on how long this takes to scroll through. Actually, that one's not bad. That one's not bad. We can go with Perry. I was actually thinking Dawn though. Let's just select that one for now, and then we can go back and forth. Of course, there's no easy way to scroll past through this in a very fast way. Hmm. Yeah, it really is struggling, though. Boy. Boy, oh boy. And of course, a lot of these have hats built into them, which is neat, but ultimately I find that not to be super helpful. This is a good one, eh, but I'm not feeling that in this outfit. There we go.
Let's see. It took forever to get down here, but I am thinking this one. Let's go with it. All right, now color. Deep blonde. Uh, platinum bond's too blonde. Dirty blonde. Let's see, dirty blonde or golden blonde, I'm thinking. Oh, we could just go to normal blonde, too. Oh, decisions, decisions. Hmm. I'm liking golden blonde. Let's do it. All right. Go. Yes. I think you would look. Okay. Don't Mission be accomplished here. <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. The hub of trade for all city right. This part's always really funny when you don't have Piper with you. Nikki, I'm just asking for your opinion. She'd be a great quote. She's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Which is why X2 couldn't remember. You don't know anything, Nick? I woke up in a junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. The Institute hasn't come calling since. I'm sorry. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. I was so blinded by anger, I... I just wanted him dead. Now look what I've done. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know... We may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I don't know, Nick. That seems a little out there. You're talking to a synth. I am a little out there. Just stay with me on this. Let's see, I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Omari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick, gross, seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. What exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to get it jump-started. 
See what the old Merc knew. And thankfully, they let you pick up what you need before coming here. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I already have someone with me. I'll meet you there, Nick. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. <laughs> now we begin Dangerous Minds. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Okay, right. Actually, while we're here, I know famous last words. Hey, while you're here, let's go talk to this fucking. Shan, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? Don't make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that comes out of that filter is 100% pure. As long as a legitimate businessman like myself always got to be hassled by city regulation, huh? It's a health hazard, Shane. It's a profit hazard, is what I say. I manage the water. And I'll do it without your interference. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sounds like you've been having a lot of fun out there killing off mutant creatures. Save a few for me, why don't you? Hey there, purified water. You won't find this out in the Commonwealth. Um, yes I will. I've got a gigantic purified water farm at Sanctuary, dude. Anything I can do to help out? Ah, the industrious type. Want to help me clean out the water supply? You won't believe the junk people throw in there. Overloads the filters. Depends. What's this worth to you? Jobs 100 caps. I like you. 125. Come on. My time's worth more than that. 150, then. We're both business people, Shing. Don't insult me. All right. 200. High as I'll go. I'm on it. Just don't drown. I'll never clean your carcass out of there. Oh boy. Can we quit sucking down rats? Let's see. Typewriter. Toaster. And That's the last thing. Get over here. Damn it. Where is it? There it is. And a freeze. So one of the first things I grabbed out of there was a skull. <laughs> Look how clean the water is now. Good job. Here's your pay. Now, how about you pick up some bottles for the road? Shang? Why was there a skull in the water? Eh, so maybe you weren't the first person I asked. Maybe the last guy found an unstable hand grenade. Hey, once the filters do their job, all oh, water under the bridge. Am I right? Anyway, uh, need some water? Sure. Let's take a look. Best decision of your life. Let's see. <sighs> what do I have a lot of that I don't necessarily need? offload i don't think there's really anything to offload i think you're good all right never mind shen but i do like money we do like some xp oh right we also have the uh science people here totally forgot to do this professor i have a new theory about how the institute makes the sins oh no We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how 
could they even? Ah, uh ha! -huh. You do want to talk about it. Uh, oh, look, we have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear, if you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Sure. Sounds fun. Yes. Love that enthusiasm. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Gamma rays? That's right. Now, gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? Hence why we see, you know, two-headed Brahmin and shit. Yes, very interesting. That's what science is all about. Nothing stays the same. Everything reacts. Now it's time for the field trip portion of today's lesson. Are you ready? Sign me up. You're going to go out and find a bloatfly gland. You see, the oversized bloatfly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? I do a job, I get paid. Money? Oh, um, how about, uh, 125 caps? We're talking hunting a giant mutated bug. There's risks. That would explain why some students don't come back. How about 150 caps? <laughs> I need more. For science. Well, if it's for science, 200. Hey, Dark Star. Get the bloatfly gland. Got it. Remember, bring the gland back in one piece. Oh, and don't chew on it. One of the students got horribly sick because of that mistake. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I... Well, I really need your help. There we go. So greetings, Dark Star. How was your weekend? Welcome. We're just doing some Diamond City shenanigans before we get involved in the main quest. Anything you need, Kate. I was hoping you'd say that. We're friends now, which means I can trust you with anything. I'm also hoping it means you've got me back, because I need it now more than ever. I'm... I'm sick. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. Okay, calm down and take a deep breath. If you're sick, I want to help you. Okay, okay. It's like this. Ever since I left home... I've been using Psycho. I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't stop. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without it anymore, and I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I've even been doing it behind your back. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, it's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood, and I don't feel right inside. I need to get this shite out of me system before I wind up dead. Tell me how we can clean you up. Well, there might be a way, but it's not going to be easy. There's supposed to be a vault somewhere out here. A place called Vault 95. I've heard that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly had some special method to clean up those blokes in there. Some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. No problem. We'll get you there. I can't believe how kind you're being to me, even when I'm letting you down. Look, I don't want you to think I'm some kind of low-life junkie. A stupid girl who's harming herself for no good reason. From one friend to another, all I'm asking is for your help. When you're ready, take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. All right, so we're going to do that. Perfect timing. And if we pick up some boat flag land, all the better. Let's keep an eye open for it. Head this way. That was perfect timing. I don't know why we let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people, and everyone forgets he's a freaking sin. 
Heard those settlements have been setting up their own supply lines now. Hopefully they're well armed so raiders don't pick them off. Alright. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, right? I love some of these uh, signs in Diamond City. The Brotherhood of Steel? Who are they? <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. So we still have more quests to do in Diamond City, but we will come back. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I should find a cooking station. Eh, we'll do that in the meantime. Let's medicine right away. And then drinks. God, I've got enough purified water to last a lifetime. And sure, crispy iguana. Crispy, crispy squirrel bits. Sounds like a plan. We're immediately going to do that. <laughs> I love that sound alert. I am so glad I turned Ziltoid into that. <laughs> and if anybody hasn't heard the album that that's from, it, it's uh, Devin Townsend. And the actual album is called Z2. It's hilarious and amazing. If, you know, hard rock slash metal is your thing. Oops, before we go any further, before Sarah forgets, let's cruise up this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Raiders at Kendall Hospital kept the pet death ball on the lowest floor. <laughs> yeah, I found that out already. Thanks for telling me that now. last time I had clean Pillar raising, Amarius. <laughs> Ooh, that. Oh, there's nothing in it. Yeah, it's always fun to uh, combine words. Actually, Phoenix Nade's favorite is buffoonerotery. Hello, Cleo. Hi, honey. Who is my good girl? Hello. 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 That's perfect. I just opened up a container. Give me just two seconds while I pet the cat. Oh, I know you, you good girl. I know I love you too. Oh, kissy kissy. I love you too, cat. Gonna come hang out? Hmm? Yeah, you're gonna come hang out? You good girl? Yeah, just come to hang out? Good girl. Uh, what else am I doing? Yep, potato, carrot flower, brain fungus. Ugh. Should hold on to Deezer's lemonade for now. I'm gonna put that into a... Uh, I'm going to put that into a settlement of some sort. Yeah, I don't think I need anything of these of this nature, but Kate isn't carrying anything. Wow, we still have these guys around? Really? Oh, I could cook that, couldn't I? Okay. In any event, what I do want to do is very, very quickly... Set up a radio beacon. Uh, okay, build it up here. No. Yeah, I'm stuck kind of putting it up here, probably. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Come on. Um, let's... Fine. We'll do that. All right, there we go. Perfect. And then they'll slowly take care of these bodies, I think. If not, let's just pick one of these up and we'll just carry it outside ourselves. I figured these would, uh, or inserting one word or another, like, we're goddamn ridiculous, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a, uh, there's a friend of mine. I haven't seen him in a little while, but he used to do that all the time. That's for goddamn ridiculous. It's fucking great. Okay. That should take care of that body. Then the next time we swim, spin through here, we can plant some crops. We'll plant an artillery piece so we could, you know, shell most of the Boston area. And then we'll set up some, um... Scavenging stations, stations, because it makes sense that that would be a good scavenging site. 
let's see. And then we'll connect it to Overland Station. But in the meantime, we'll cruise down this way. As so we make our way over to Vault 95. With any luck whatsoever. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. Don't worry, I will. There's plenty of places to now explore, but it's actually in, against our interest to do them. Sort of against our interest Don't to do them now. Don't suppose you could give this little pea shooter of mine a bit more kick. I feel like the bullets are just bouncing off super mutants. That is awesome. <laughs> it's nice when Diamond City security is a little more chatty than they normally are. Um, I probably could have bought ammunition off Arturo. But I think we're still doing okay when it comes to ammunition. Let's see. What's over here? Nothing? Really? That's amazing. Can't tell you how many times I go around here and something shows up around here to fucking ruin my day. Good. All right. Yeah, it doesn't take too long before I'm out of breath. Let's see. Uh, late response, but I'm at K. How's your Saturday? My Saturday's good. Usually just a bunch of grumpy asses. <laughs> yeah, they usually are. Um, yeah, for some reason, Diamond City... That's a sentry bot. Am I crazy? What the fuck's going on here? Oh, that's such bullshit. Oh, but I still damaged it. Okay, but at least the damage still counted. It just spawned in the wrong spot. Okay, so that just fucking happened. <laughs> that was uh, very different. Oh, you got your tree. That's it. Scratch your scratching post. Good girl. Sweet. Give me just two seconds here. Oh, came over. Where, where's your toy? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? No. Being a, just being an asshole, huh, cat? I know, I love you too, cat. Sorry, usually when she goes over there, it usually means she wants to play. But then came over and just wanted a pet instead. I guess she just wanted to... I guess she just felt like ripping up her scratching post. <laughs> Sometimes she does that. Usually, though, when she does that, she wants me to, like, throw her a toy or uh, or something along those lines. So I'm just sort of used to when I hear that. I go, okay, she just wants me to make a toy move. Hello, cat. I know. Love you too, cat. Love you too, cat. Used oil can. Yeah, we'll take that and that. I wonder why that was at such a weird angle. Okay. Alright, so there's all of this. What can... What is that? Oh, that's a rabid one. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, let's take that. Okay. Across the river we go. Um, do I do that now? I feel like I should do that on the return trip. We'll do that on the return trip. We'll go to Egret Tours Marina. There's an interesting encounter there. Fuck. God damn it, Cleo. I gave you water over there, you little shit. Ugh. 
literally gave you water. You fucking asshole. Good job, dog meat. All right, that's how we take care of super mutants. Fucking assholes. Of course, I blew the fuck out of whatever was here. <laughs> Over the river and through the woods to some other shit we go. Cleo, why you can't be here, honey? Hi, you can't be in front of my monitor. You know this. You know this. You just drank my water. Which, by the way... I didn't even have that much water in it. You passed by your water, which had a lot more. Yeah, look at that. You look at how much water that one has. So in your effort to be an asshole, you actually passed by more water. Cleo, just, just drink this water if you're thirsty, honey. That's why I gave it to you. Hi. You are chaos incarnate. I know. I love you too. Hi. You, you need attention? You need a pet? Is that, is that what this is? <laughs> I didn't give you enough attention earlier. I gave her tons of attention and love earlier. You would never know this cat is spoiled as she is. Hello. Or were you just thirsty? And you just missed your water and wanted to just be an asshole. I think you just wanted to be an asshole. I know. I know I love you too. <laughs> Finish your drink. No, you can't be in front of the monitor. You can't be in front of the monitor. You can be anywhere in the house except in front of the monitor. It's the one place you can't be. There are too many wires for you to get caught in. It's too much for you to break. Just lay down, honey. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down, young lady. Hi. I love you, too. Lay down. Oh, my God, Cleo. You can't... You cannot be there. I promise you cannot be there. I know. For whatever reason, you want to be there. Come here. Come here. Oh, my God. Just... Okay, look. Lay down, will ya? No, don't rub up against the camera. Oh, my God. You're gonna break everything. <laughs> you are too strong. You're gonna knock that over. Hi. Yes. Lay down. Lay down. Hi. There you go. Lay down. There you go. Lay down. There you go. All right. See? Okay. Just... Hi. Yes, keep me company. Good girl. Oh my goodness. I gotta fight the monsters, the super mutants, and the cat. Alright, I'll just move the keyboard and the mouse over. That I can deal with. Good grief. You have all of that desk space. Mind you, my entire desk is bare. It has nothing on it anywhere. Where does the cat sit? Where my mouse just was. <laughs> I had to literally move the keyboard and the mouse because she had to sit right where my hand was. This is the day we're in <laughs> Sarah's streaming career, right? <laughs> oh my God. She's more popular on my stream, I think, than I am anyway. People, <laughs> I legitimately wonder if people show up to see Cleo. It's like, yes, we finally caught sight of her again. <laughs> Hi. I know I love you too. That's why I put up with all your stupid ass behavior. I know you're a good cat. You really are a good cat, even though you're a pain in the ass. I actually am glad, because, I mean, weird as this might sound, this is actually a relief that she, she, she's been an asshole for, like, the last couple of days. But um, she had a cold last week, and she wasn't herself, and she was, quote, quote, behaved. But it worried me. Like, I knew she wasn't, um... Okay, maybe I just need to move my microphone over a little bit more. Okay, there we go for my new, my new orientation, as I'm a little further away from the mic now. Uh, but it actually worried me when she was like super behaved because I knew she wasn't feeling well. Um, so even though she's being like an asshole and she is, you are, you're being an asshole. I know. I love you too, cat. Um, purr, purr, purr. She's purring up a storm. Microphone's probably not picking it up, but she's got a hell of a motor on her. Um, and so, yeah, uh, <laughs> it is actually a relief to have her. Um, wait, 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 wait. Oh, did I? Nope, I went the wrong way. In all that chaos with Cleo, I got turned around. We need to back away, Cle uh, Kate. Yep, I'm back over on this side. Shit, I thought I was down here going south. Okay, come on, back off, Kate. Back off, we don't want to go anywhere near the super mutants. We want to go this way. Yeah, I got turned around on the bridge with all of that nonsense. Um, so anyway, 
but yeah, I mean, jokes aside, with her kind of being a brat, I'm actually relieved because uh, it's a good sign that she's back to, you know, her old antics. Oh, um, hmm. I guess we're going in the drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Hello, kitty kitty. Is that a little chromatic aberration? Why do I have chromatic aberration? I thought I turned that off. So here's going to be the issue. We're going to have to somehow sneak through fucking Super Mutant Central here. Ugh. Do I bother discovering these locations, or do I do it on the way out? Let's, uh, let's just sneak, and we'll go around this side. I think we're far enough away. Is that a, that, uh, salvage yard? I think it's a salvage yard of some sort. Filled with super mutants. Shit. Oh. Well. Shit. You know what? With them fighting, this is probably the best time to clear that place out. Fine, let's do it. just dropped off some brotherhood people. Good. You guys keep going out that way. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Yep. Fuck. <sighs> Give me two seconds, Nate. I will read that comment. <laughs> I promise. But, uh, yeah, with, with this shit's getting real, gotta give you a second. Okay. So far, so good. Take the nuclear material. Yeah, we'll definitely take all of that. Brotherhood of Steel. Where is that legendary we killed earlier? Should be over here. Maybe here? Yeah, there. Oh, ho, 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 a dead eye. God's rifle? Hell yeah! Wow, and that fucker didn't even get a chance to shoot. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Wow, just found an old piece of mail from Columbia House 2002. Wow, that brings back memories. Cleo, you cannot go back there. There are wires there. Why do you want to go back there? You can't go back there, sweetheart. I know, I love you, but you, you can't go back there. You literally can't go back there. I mean, you physically can, but you will, you will literally, like, the stream will go down. <laughs> you will disconnect my computer. All the lights will go out. Everything will be ruined. You cannot go back there. I usually don't tell you no. I'm telling you no. <laughs> that should be a clue, Cleo. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, get some more water. Good grief. But yeah, Columbia House, man, that brings back memories. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. She actually did go back here. Oh my goodness gracious. How many free CDs or DVDs with the offer for? Yeah, that's a good question, Nate. How many, how much was it for? Because yeah, some of those were pretty decent deals. I mean, if you were a certain age, you just did that. There was, I don't think there was anybody that didn't take advantage of those at one point. All right, so now this place is cleared. Scrap Palace, yeah. But uh, thankfully, those Brotherhood idiots 
were uh, certainly had uh, distracted them, which works. Take that. Okay. Let's switch back to this. Let's reload. All right. Where did that super mutant suicider blow himself up? Blew him up over here somewhere. Take the bottle caps. Part of it then. So the offer is buy one, get two. Oh, that's pretty cool. Still don't see where the suicider... Oh, float flag gland. We needed that. Well, I can't seem to see where this thing... Hi, Cleo. Hi. Hello. I love you. And she already had dinner, so she's not asking for food. <laughs> they were advertising Hoobastank and Destiny's Child. Oh my god. Wow. Cleo, I swear. Thank you. Lay down. Lay down. Fine. All right. I love you too. Yes. Truth be told, I like it when she keeps me company. But I like it when she's here. Not here. Ooh. That's some of your fur. Mmm. Mmm. I, I know I love you too. I know, I know, I know. You're making me have an allergic fit right now on stream. It's awesome. Oh my god. Oh. Reading that sentence just made my back hurt, right? <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Well, I don't know where the damn suicider blew himself up. But, oh, there it is. Yeah, let's get some nuclear material. Thank you. Nuclear material is pretty rare. I wouldn't mean I would prefer the mini nuke, but couldn't get to him in time. Just wasn't meant to be. All right, oof. Yeah, I'll take the death lock. Yeah, we'll do it. Oof. Man. Oh, it's my no are my nose and not eyes itchy like hell. Holy smokes, man. Yeah, I can't jump high enough to get to those. Hopefully there's nothing all that useful in them. Oh, right, which says we have science. I should, uh... Yeah, uh, the problem is if I move, the cat will move, and she may go behind the... underneath the monitor and try to yank out wires. So until she's, um... Plus, she's going to continue wanting pets anyway. So until she's content or moves on or gets bored... I'm, I'm, I'm just going to suffer, and it's okay. It's not that big a deal. Ooh. <laughs> Boom. Headshot. Okay. What I will do, however. Oh. Oh, good grief. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. cat, this is how you know I love you. Oh, man. Yeah, well, throw some rad stag. Ribeye. Cool. All right, we'll eat some of that. We'll actually eat a ribeye steak. We're going to take... We're going to take some medicine. We're going to eat some ribeye steak. Yeah, there we go. All right. Regain our health. We got a bunch of sites here in the area. No, you cannot go that way. Hi. Cle Cleo, you drive. Okay, night. I know. Ugh. I was about to say you're driving me crazy, and then she licks my hand. I'm like, oh, I can't even be mad at you when you do that. <laughs> but seriously, you're driving me. Like, what do you want? You got, you got food already. You got food. Hello. Hello. I know. You just need affection. You just need a pet. Even though I just gave you a pet. I know. All right. Oh, my God. I have the neediest chat. I've got the neediest cat ever. I swear. <laughs> Hello, Cleo. I know. I know. Don't worry. My Final Fantasy VI World of Balance, World of Ruin double-sided map. Now, that is awesome. Man, you're really finding some, uh, some time capsules in there. Let me know if you find the Exalted maps. Hi. Ow, that was a hell of a headbutt. Okay, I know. Hello, Cleo. 
Hello, Cleo. She's decided that... Okay, no, don't knock over the camera. I know, I know. Hello, Cleo. Hello. I'm almost tempted to give her second dinner. Not so far, but found my Rom Dow binder. Ah, there we go. Oof. Oh my god, that... Why are you shedding so much, cat? I just petted you. How could you shed so much? How could you shed so much? I know I love you too. Yeah, yeah, I know. Chew my hand. Okay. I know, cat. I know. I know. Cleo, you are a loved, spoiled cat. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I should do like a uh, channel reward that just says pet the cat. No matter what I'm doing, I'll just go up and go pet her. <laughs> that would be my most used uh, reward in like a day. No, you can't go back there. For some reason, you want to go back there. And I think that's why you're taking all these pets. For some reason, you are just fascinated with that. You can't fit. You're too big. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, fine. Just lay there. It's it's fine. We'll just, we'll do this. It's, it's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what that is. You don't need a pet. You're just fascinated with the back of my monitor for some reason today. Why? I'm not sure. But yeah, she's just totally insistent on um, going back there for some reason. Sometimes she gets in her head of like, hey, I want to do that. And she's just stubborn. Just a very stubborn cat. Hey, buddy. Excuse me. Thanks for the opportunity. What opportunity? I am giving you any. to get back to Diamond City one of these days. All right. Biggest town I ever saw. So this is a place that we will want to settle in a minute. Yeah, there's a cozy... You know, so, depending on your persuasion, if you believe in this type of thing or not, but at my parents' house, do not play with that wire. That is not a toy. Not a toy, Cleo. Not a toy. You have toys. There are three of them in this room, one of which is your favorite. Shithead. Yeah, I know. I know what you really want. You want to play for some reason with my mouse cable. That's what you want. Why? I don't know. Hey, hey, hey! That is not a toy, Cleo. Shithead. No, you can't chew that. You cannot chew that. Hi. I know, you're in a... See, I tossed your other toy. Why will you not play with your toys? Why do you want to play with my mouse? <laughs> I know it's called a mouse, but stick, cat. You don't know that. Ow, don't bite my hand either. <sighs> you are a character. What? What am I doing with you? What am I going to do with you? You are totally derailing things, which I don't think anybody else minds. I'm sure they are and very entertained by me having to deal with you. You are adding a degree of complexity to the game <laughs> that I had not accounted for. What, you going to chew my hand? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, chew my hand. Yeah, you want to chew my arm? Yeah, I know. You're a good girl. I love you too, you little shit. But seriously, don't bite my mouse cable. That you can't bite. Yeah, bite my hand all you want. Ow. Except when I'm trying to aim. I am trying to aim. That's kind of complicated. All right. Um, how am I doing this? Okay. You, you coming down? You leaving? I won't let you play with the mouse. <laughs> gonna gonna go and get another drink gonna get another drink of frustration <laughs> oh my goodness gracious freaking cat today man oh man uh let's see let's go with uh yeah let's go to the Ooh, nope we're gonna go with a nuke mine oh shit Oh, it fucking went around it. Figures the fucking Assaultron missed it. Fucking stupid ass gunner hit the nuke mine instead of the Assaultron. And there's two of them, which is a problem. Oh. Where's that Assaultron? There it is. Somebody crippled it. That's always creepy when they cripple it. <laughs> oh, we got a legendary gunner corporal here. Headshot! Boom, bitch! Oh. 
Ran right behind cover. Go dog me, thank you. Okay. Just got this one conscript left, and then we loot. There we go, and gained a level. Sweet. We'll take the squirrel bits. Okay. Whew. My goodness, survived attack of the Cleo. <laughs> oh my goodness. And dealt with two Assaultrons, neither of which that hit my nuke mine that didn't go according to plan. That is all right. All right, so we got, uh, we did that. You know what, I think at this point, ooh, medic or, Chemist. We might want to do chemist, actually. It is intelligence uh, in here somewhere. Yeah, we might want to do chemist, actually. Because that allows us to... Any chems you need to take twice as long? Because I think there are certain chems where we need chemist to actually get it. Plus, there are going to be some... Well, you know what? No, let's, let's just go with armor for right now. Holy shit, chat. That was crazy. Okay. Bubble gum. Now we loot the fucking Assaultrons. Eh, it's not bad. Let's go back to the frag grenade. And now we loot the two Assaultrons. Yeah, it's creepy when you take out the Assaultrons' legs and then they just keep crawling like the fucking Terminator. Oh my god. <laughs> Clearly, Kate, I think Kate uh, crippled it. Yeah, I'll pass on that. Although we will take the dirty army fatigues. I don't think I need that. I'll take the advanced targeting card. Okay. Now that Cleo has uh, given up on the cable there... Let me go check on her. Now I will wash my hands and wash my face. I will be right back. Oh my goodness. And I think I need more water, especially since Cleo drank out of both of them. Ugh. Never mind, you have five toys in here, cat. Five! You had five! <laughs>
my god. Oh, okay. Just give me a second, actually. While I get my stuff back in order here. I think that's good. Holy smokes. Oh, man. It's bad. Uh, uh, just burned like hell. Uh, actually, let's be right. Let's just try with that because I do like having a little the windows a little open and it's cloudy enough outside where it's not too crazy. Oh, so my allergies calm down for a quick moment. Whew, my goodness. Okay, my God. There we are. All right, everybody, I'm back. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm recovering here. <laughs> so that was interesting. Oof. Okay. <sighs> I just want to make sure I drink my water and not Cleo's water. All right, now we'll go back into game. Actually, I wasn't. I'm recovering faster than I thought I would. Let's see. Oh, it would help if I actually switch the focus now, wouldn't it? All right, let's go into the elevator. And boom. Onwards to Vault 95. Hmm. Okay, good. It is a loading screen. It's like, wait. <laughs> I do remember this. There we go. And of course, this is trapped to hell and back. But we do like fiber optic cable. Pick this lock. She'll like it, not that it matters. Because at the moment, her affinity God. is capped. Sure, we'll take that. Turret control. And deactivate. Perfect. Now, at least we don't have to worry about the, the turrets. Mm -hmm. So here's one of the cool parts. Let's take a look now. So we have two gauze rifles. One is a shield, uh, the shielded tactical one we built, and this one's the legendary uh, dead eye one. We are going to use that one. <laughs> so every time we aim down the sights of that, we will automatically have the slow time effect, which is awesome. Oh. Which is neat, except for when it doesn't fucking work. Alright, so you know what? That kind of sucks, actually. Ow. Well, that sucked. Here I thought that was going to be an awesome ability, and it turns out it's... They just launch a fucking mini nuke at me? Holy shit! Holy crap on a stick! Well, he's out of mini nukes! Holy fuck! So obviously he spawned with some sort of legendary fucking mini nuke. It's the only reason he would have one. I think I got him. Take her out. Bastard. Let's charge. That's time. Boom. <laughs> Really? I'm the one getting pissed off here. Alright, there isn't anybody else here. They're up here. Nope, they're all downstairs. Okay. Looks like they had their support meetings in the <sighs> office. Sitting around and telling everyone else my problems isn't my really idea of fun. No, Kate, I imagine it wouldn't be. Let's go. Yeah, penetrating fat man. What a waste. That was a terrible, terrible spawn. Holy shit, were we unlucky with that. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe our luck. That was awful. Have a 
ammo, caps, whatever you find. God damn, man. God damn. Well, it certainly made this interesting. I've never had to deal with a fat man armed gunner before. That was terrifying. Who? Yeah, whatever. They can't figure out I'm up here. I'm not worried about it right now. Let's go back up here. Sure, we'll take that clean coffee cup. We will also take... Oh. Hell yeah. Legendary special effects. We'll take that. Let's check out this Overseal Terminal. Overseer Manifest. An election will be held once a year. Let's see. Meeting notes. All this wonderful shit. There we go. Let's unlock the facilities wing. Yep. Perfect. Huh? That's unlocked. I don't think there's anything else of interest here, although we do have a teddy bear. Take the clean coffee cup. Definitely take those bobby pins. Whew. Kate, the shit I do for you. I don't think there's anything else of extreme interest here. That's scrap we'll want. That looks like jet. It is. Ooh. Can't believe we had to fight off a fucking gunner with a mini nuke. That is crazy. Yeah, I love how these mannequins are set up so if you're not really paying attention, they would look like your, uh. They would look like real and you would shoot at them and then the gunners would know you're there. Alright, so we've got tons of options here. Let's just deal with this residential part. We'll clear this out. <laughs> there goes the moon monkey. Jet. That's valuable. Kate, you're in the way. Thank you. Guarantee there's somebody in here. Damn it, Kate. You weren't supposed to open that door. Now I have to check it. Dog meat, get out of the way, buddy. Here. Okay, good. Now we're clear. I will take duct tape, gas canisters. Yeah, there's a lot of good salvage in here. Hell yeah, we'll take the mute fruit. So far, so good. War money. It's always awesome. We already have a Vault Tech lab coat. <sighs> take the glass and the aluminum. Now let's try this one more time. Hey, Kate, why don't you shout louder so they know where we are? Huh. Big nice. guns bobblehead. Boom. Definitely take that. Handcuffs. Handcuffs are nice because they're light and yet they still have um, some very rare materials in them. Yeah, I'm not going to be... Dark glasses I will take. Okay, we'll take the switchblade. Hmm. I think I already have a good one of that. Let's pick this. There we are. No. Bingo. Yes. Okay. About to be some here. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I knew I'd already be carrying too much. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Hey, point out what 
pick up. Oh, you picked up a magnum. Well, that works. <laughs> that really works. You'll be very effective that way. Uh, yeah, let's give you some of this shit. I'll give you that too. Uh, actually, I'll give you the dead eye one. That one sucks. I'm really. I thought the dead eye would be better, but that legendary slow time constantly spamming actually wasn't particularly helpful. Yeah, we don't need to give you any of that shit. Okay. Let's go with the weight. I think... Oh. The tin cans. That's like three pounds right there. <laughs> Must be a bunch of the weapons that are just adding weight left and right. Oh, yeah, I don't need this... Penetrating fat man. And you don't have mini nukes, so I don't have to worry about that. Good. You need it, I'll get right on it. Good, good. Okay. Got that cleared off. Come back. Oh. Let's do this. Got it. That's it. Okay. Sure, I'll take some Nuka Cherry. Definitely take that. Good. Now if I could just figure out where the fuck I was going. I think that's the way out. It is. At this point we've cleared out everything. No one left alive in here. Why bother? That's just garbage. I toss it. Yeah, a lot of chems here. Look at all these pens. Psycho, jet, hell, it's all here. Why would there be a stash in this vault? Unless, oh, vault tech, those animals, experimenting again, I bet. Yep. There's some good chems in here too. Day tripper. Some good shit. Pick up the soap. No nope. trap. Well, that is a very effective bucket. Bobby pins. <laughs> Poor bastard killed himself on Psycho. Should be anything that's valuable over here. Reload. Actually, let's. Ah, good. Did I not? Oh, I must have already re. Did I not set it? Maybe I didn't set it. That's fine. Right, I disabled these. I'll still take the grenade K. Okay. Dog meat. Five water. <laughs> Not really sure what these guys were doing over here, but I don't feel like getting zapped by the vault. Uh, I think they might just repair, trying to be, uh, trying to repair it. I think that's what they're doing there. Is there anything else back here? I mean, if you go down that way, it's one big circle. Ah, uh, yes, we do want to go this way.
<laughs> that is pretty cool, jumping down and shooting from behind. At least that's what I was going for. Hmm. Hit this lock. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. There it is. Nice. That. Yes. Man, I've got a ton of first aid supplies. The next time I drop off by the uh, castle, I'm going to be having to drop off all a lot of the, um, drop off some of that. Yeah, unfortunately. Sweet. Wow, that was a great safe. Sweet. Okay, I don't think there's anything else of value in here, though. Some scrap, but that's about it. And if we continue down that way, you can even see there's some flickering from the uh, reactor. This is just, this was a safer way than going through the zappy zappy of that. Okay. Clear. Now we go into the research wing. Now we've unlocked it from there. We could have hacked that terminal. Oh, may still want to hack it just for the um, XP of it, but whatever. It seems silly to hack it now that we've been infiltrated. I think I actually hit that. I hit that Molotov cocktail right out of that dude's hand. <laughs> I want this one's head. Granted, I knew you can, but I don't know if I've ever actually done that before. That was pretty funny. <laughs> All right, nice. Let's go through, make sure that's, you know, Mentats, we'll take Mentats. Where does this may sound? We're gonna go back out the way we just came. Ammo, caps, whatever just to make sure we don't, don't miss anything. So if we go over the other way, sometimes it's easy to end up uh, forgetting where you've been. Although, really, there's only one stairs up. So. No, actually, okay, never mind. We could have just gone through that way. Would have been fine. Okay, fine. Let's just go through. See what's over, see what's over here. Totally mistaken that for something else. Oh, there is a door. That's what I thought. And then... Oh, I missed the door here. That's what all I did. Okay, and then there's that. Okay. Never mind, it's not all that complicated. We'll take the cigarette carton. Okay, and then this is just the kitchen. Okay, we're good. Cool. Whatever. I'll take the duct tape. Missed that the first time. Yay, duct tape and adhesive. Went the wrong way again. I think that's what I meant by getting turned around easily. <laughs> that was a nice little double kill. I don't need a Molotov cocktail. Darn me, I love you, but you're so in the way, man. Uh, sure. That'll be the last heavy thing I pick up, though. Only because they're so... They're super awesome. Oh, 
Okay, time to open this. turret. That was convenient, though. <laughs> you know how to show a girl a good time. Damn straight. What did this guy have? Yeah, nothing particularly this of interest. It. The clean room. Excuse me. The answer to me problems is sitting in that room. But I don't know if I should go through with it. We've come so far. Don't turn back now. I know you risked your life getting us down here. But what if the psycho's the only thing keeping me together? What if this opens me eyes and I don't like what I see? There were reasons I dulled the pain. Things I didn't want to face. Things I was trying to forget. I'd rather be spitting blood than relive in the past. We'll face that pain together. You, you've already done so much, but you keep offering to do more. Well, who the hell am I to look a gift horse in the mouth? I'm gonna sit in the chair. Whenever you're ready, you go ahead and throw the switch. And now the moment for where I'm convinced is the only reason this quest was made. The pun that follows. Hmm. Right. <laughs> Cure Kate's addiction. <laughs> uh, yes, initiate the toxin purge. <laughs> it's like, but wait, there's more. <laughs> now I could talk to her in there, but the camera angles are always like super awkward. It's going to make me do it in there, isn't it? Okay, fine. Are you all right, Kate? How are you kind feeling? Of what strange. I feel really strange. Everything feels different. Everything feels clearer. Colors, sounds, smells. Nothing is like I remember. I, I can't believe it worked. The cravings, the pain, hell, even the rush, they've disappeared. Was I really that far gone? <laughs> I'm done with Sergio. It treats me like a rag doll. <laughs> oh, man. The pain's gone, too. I wouldn't say I'm at my best, but something's changed. That sick feeling, the pain, it's gone from stabbing to dull. I don't know. Maybe some of it was in me head. Doesn't matter. I haven't felt this good in a long time. I'm glad you're all right. I was worried about you. Seems you're not the only one. I have a feeling that Tommy had this in mind all along. Clever old bastard kicked me out of the combat zone so I'd clean myself up, and somehow knew you'd be up for the challenge. I guess he saw something in you that I missed. <laughs> Never mind, Tommy. I did all the work. Well, yeah. My charming personality. <laughs> something like that. Look, I'm never gonna forget what you did for me today. You stepped up and helped when everyone else cashed out. I know I suck at thank yous, but that's the best you're going to get out of me. Now, how about we get out of here and leave this place far behind? Here we are, benign intervention complete. Jump behind. You're just wasting space. Do -do -do. Now we can pick this lock and start gaining her affinity again. Yes. You know, it's been so long since I've even seen that movie. 
<laughs> I'm trying to remember what the actress's name for it was. Um, what was her name? She was on Sliders, too. Beautiful, beautiful girl, but I can't for the life of me now remember what her fucking name is. Yeah, we'll take Psycho. In theory, like, before we could do chems and she would like it. Now if we take chems, she will dislike it. Because, you know, that, that, that actually does sort of really make sense. Actually, medium combat armor, right arm. Maybe I should take that. Light, let it nah, I'm not gonna take that. Oof. Come on. Ugh. I keep getting hung up on those. There's no other scrap I missed here. Okay, cool. We can leave Vault 95 now. <clears throat> Ready to head back out? Ready. Good. Then let's get moving. Why were you leaving? That was weird. Man, I'm glad I caught that before too much time went by. Thank you. Give me those cans. Ugh. Yeah, fine. I'll take one more microscope. Still can't believe we ran into a gunner with a fucking mini, uh, mini nuke launcher there. Holy shit. That made that so much more interesting than it normally is. Thankfully, I was able to stay behind the column, and he kept lobbing it. It would hit the column, and I was just outside the blast radius. But that was fucking terrifying. I mentioned it was very similar to the, the cops in Terminator 2. When all of a sudden, you know, the Terminator shows up. It's like, oh, fuck, he's got a minigun. <laughs> Goddamn. I don't think there's anything out here. Let's go to Somerville Place again. Um, it would be nice if they gave us a quest because Somerville Place is definitely a settlement we're going to want. But sometimes it just resists getting it and we definitely don't want to fuck with that right now until we're ready for it so that's a shame although it might not because we've got the finch farm quest still queued that probably is the that probably is the deal we're gonna to have to deal with finch farm clear that and then we'll be able to grab that settlement uh, that's okay for now we will proceed this way. Yeah, let's go to the radio station. No, that's that's not the radio station. That's Gunner's Plaza. We don't want to go anywhere near that fucking place. Okay, we could cross this way. Yeah, of course. Bastards. That's why... Pikmin's blade is so amazing. Because even when you're doing damage to it. What? Why can't I? Thank you. There it is. That bleeding, ch uh, that 5% bleeding is just amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Sure. Wasn't going to come in here, but since. We had to deal with all that shit. It still looks cleaner than me placed back at the combat zone. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel? Uh, they're, uh, still around. In the Commonwealth, I mean. I guess there was, uh, some sort of fight. Like, lots of guns, or whatever. <laughs> Aren't you dead, don't be. Some people, not me, just some other people. Totally different. Uh, we're wondering if maybe they were looking for something, uh, specific. Uh, uh, that makes sense, right? They, uh, they like technology and their gadgets and 
stuff. So, just seems like a place. Here we go. I guess they were seen coming out of it already. So maybe, maybe now they'll, you know, if they got what they came for, and they don't need anything else. <laughs> I don't know. It's fucking the bastards. Allah. I've heard of pre-war drunk drivers, but this is ridiculous. Here's the five stars with Adam Bomb Baby. A song I'm sure that, uh, I mean, I mean, I meant well. Just maybe not the best comparison. Whoa, uh, whoa. You know, uh, babies. Over there. Get him. Destruction. Here are the five stars. Head's ringing. Ah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, now we'll turn off that radio. I love the fucking, uh, I love that awkward bastard. <laughs> and these Myler Queens certainly have a, uh, could certainly be dangerous. Yeah, how am I getting that now? Fuck. Okay, made it. There we go. Here's the cool shit. Nice little safe. Damn it. Got it. Ooh, take that stealth boy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's probably still gonna be a miler. Right there. There it is. That's it. Something's ghostly. I guess there is no magazine or bobblehead in this area. Sorry, sorry. Now we'll go up to Egret Tours. We'll deal with that very briefly. The road should be right up here, right? Where's our road? There's the road. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm a synth, you numbskull. And if you don't take off, I'm liable to put a hole in your head. What makes you think you're a synth? Blackout. People I've hurt that I don't remember. Any second now, they might send some signal. Or I'll see the color orange. Or whatever it is they do, and... Boom! One more dead fool. Now, are you gonna get out of here? Or wait for them to make me kill you there's got to be more to this what happened to make you think you're a synth look you're taking a risk staying here to talk to me but if that's what it'll take to get you to leave my grandson samuel and i were on our own since my daughter died i managed to get us in on a farm hard on these old bones but it kept us fed i was on watch one night i i don't i'm sitting there with a gun across my knees, looking out over the hill, and and I think I fell asleep. It, it's just blank. The next thing I remember is the sound of a gunshot shaking me out of, and Samuel is at my feet, and there's blood everywhere. I know this must be hard for you. Please, 
Tell me the rest. There's nothing else to tell. Everyone came running out. But it was just me and Samuel. No raiders. No gunners. Just... Blood. One moment he was there. And then the next... Just... Gone. Those little fingers that used to hold my hand. And it's all my fault. You can't imagine what that's like. I saw my husband killed, my son taken, and was powerless to stop it. I understand how you feel. I... I, I didn't... I hope you find him. Family is the only thing worth a damn in this world. But I guess he wasn't really my grandson. They must have just given me those memories. Because who could have done that to their own flesh and blood? Now you know why I'm here. And why you need to leave before they make me kill again. I'm a synth, and I can't be trusted. You're not a synth. It was just an accident. Even if you're right, what does it matter? There's nothing left for me. We need good people for the Minutemen. It won't change the past, but maybe you can help some people. You'd still ask for my help, knowing what I've done? I don't know. Let me think about it. Look, I, I'm sorry I drew my weapon on you, kid. I think you're right. I gotta find a way to make peace with what happened, and I can't keep running from it. Okay, so here's all this shit. So what we will do. Good. We can finally have a moment to ourselves. Let's stash all that in there. The gate. Fine. Just do whatever hey. you came here sure, to do. Sure, sure. Just keep your shirt on. Stay out oh, of sure. Stuff. Make me carry more of your junk. Actually, I'm going to relieve you of a lot of that, Kate. We're going to build a couple of turrets here. You're gonna drag that junk around. Yes, I am. We're also gonna drop off. Let's see. Whoops, no. God damn it. I wish it would go that direction. And still, sorry. Mostly. But I'm now down to a reasonable weight. Okay. I'm not going to mess around here too much. I just want to build a couple of defenses so I don't have to worry about this place. For now. Actually, let's just put that up here. These don't need to be all that high. They should be over here. Okay. Um, yeah, considering there really isn't anything here, I'm not going to worry about this right now. Two turrets is fine. Okay. Now that we've dealt with Kate's addiction, got her set up with that, now we're going to make our way back to Good Neighbor. Your curiosity. For the training yard, did I not do that? Oh, we already retrieved Pikmin's gift. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, we may have glitched it by grabbing Pikmin's gift first. Fuck. Well. Oh, well. I do need to go to Quartermaster. I do need to deal with Quartermastery at some point. Did I not... Uh... 
Did we not go up there? Oh, we must not have gone up to the slog yet. Shit. All right. Good neighbor first. Head this direction. I know how we're doing this. Got tons of that shit. What the fuck? Hold up. A raider, a rad scorpion. Shit. I just put the bloatfly gland in that. Uh, never mind. We're already going too far. Fuck it. Hmm. There's really nothing worth exploring here. There are two bears to kill. That's about it. That is not worth my time. I buy and sell. Just put up everything you got and let's see if we can make a deal. I'll take a look. Sure. I don't remember what she has. She actually does have some pretty good shit. Oh, um, I love how if you sell it, you only get like a hundred caps for it. It's like, really? It's a legendary fucking 44. And all that's all you're going to give it. That's all you're going to give me for it. Okay, she doesn't have any particular interest. Give me a break. For as expensive as it, as it would be to buy. You really get completely shit rates uh, selling stuff back. Ah, oh, come on. Ooh. I'm glad I checked. Easy there, girl. I can fix you up. Here, this will make you feel better. You need a name. I'll call you Sparky. Here we go, and now Sparky will come along with us. That was awesome. I'm so glad I checked in vats before just shooting the dog. But yeah, anytime we're now in this area, Sparky will join us along with dog meat, and we'll have two dogs. It's awesome. Sparky is one of the best, or Buttface, if you name uh, the dog Buttface. Which you can, obviously. But uh, Sparky doesn't follow you very far. But anytime I've ever, ever uh, had that random encounter, and I go back to that area, I'll have the dog again. It's awesome. But yeah, Raider or Red Scorpion at a pizza place coming this fall on ABC. <laughs> you know, I would watch that. I don't think there's anything we need to necessarily do in Diamond City at the moment. We could do Diamond City Blues. No, yeah, we could do Diamond City Blues. We could also do Confidence Man. Yeah, let's do... We're already here. Let's do Diamond City Blues. It's it's time. We're actually a little overdue for Diamond City Blues. And Confidence Man, for that matter. Like me. <laughs> oh my god. It's funny. Might want to bring an umbrella with me. Certainly, sir. Anything for an understand, yes. This Willingham. is what I like about you, Wellingham. <laughs> you know what you are. Not trying to be anything other than helpful. Not like those people down there. Lower field workers always want what they haven't earned. Oh, astute observation, sir. Let me just freshen your glass again. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go check out this place. 
I never really did a lot of the tour of Diamond City. Come on, darkness, let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene like that? Pour me another drink, can you? Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, God damn it. You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch. Don't hurt him, Henry. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son. Sorry I had to see that. <laughs> Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? Sure. Get her another of whatever she's having. Well, thank you very much. I think you and I are going to get along just fine. Free booze. The fastest way to your heart. Now, can I get you something to drink? So, is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. I've got a few minutes to browse. Plenty on tap. Let's see. I don't think I actually... Let's see if I picked up anything. If I did, I'll just sell it. I could sell him the Deezer's Lemonade. <laughs> that actually would be pretty funny. Um, I guess I'll sell you dirty water. I don't really need it. And I don't need that much purified water. So yeah. That works. Oh, man. Cleo continues to get her revenge. Oof. My goodness gracious. You see that big blimp? It's the Brotherhood of Steel. Why are they here? Oh, inquiring minds would love to know, buddy. They would love to know. Alright, so confidence man... Or this shit. Let's do this shit. <laughs> yeah, my care, care <clears throat> hey, you there. I am. Um, I have a question for you. Go ahead. I'm listening. You were in the tap house before when. You tried to punch out the bartender. What was that all about? I thought it was dead obvious. Cook is sleeping with my wife. And I'm supposed to just pretend I don't know until Cook decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. Sounds like a tough situation. You know the half of it. But I'm not going to just sit here and let Cook steal my wife and destroy my family. I'm going to go back and talk to him and I want you to come with me. You saw, he won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him. I just want him to leave Darcy alone. You're gonna have to make it worth my while. Asking for caps might make the job go down a bit easier. Ah, uh, well, okay. I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. This'll work better if I talk to Cook by myself. You're probably right. I am so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. I'll make sure Cook gets the message. Good. Don't kill him if you don't have to, but otherwise, I don't care what you do to him. He deserves to suffer for what he's done. Ooh. Now back up, here we go. 
I love the crows. I wanted so much more from my life than this. Ugh. Hey, better not go around scrapping anything worthwhile. We need those spare parts too. You know? I'll meet you there then. Don't be late. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. <laughs> we need to talk, Cook. Oh yeah? Is there some kind of problem? Are you sleeping with Paul Pembroke's wife? I really don't see what business it is of yours who I'm sleeping with. We can do this the hard way, if you want. I've left tougher than you bleeding in the dirt. You'd better turn yourself around before you find out what the hard way really means. <laughs> I'm counting to three. One. Two. Oh, come on. You should have fired on two. Hold up. Don't get crazy on me. <laughs> we can talk this out. This whole thing with Darcy and me. Bad idea. I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look, tell Paul it's over. I swear. I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? It's a good start. Something more concrete would help. Yeah, okay, I get it. I have an idea. Something I've been thinking about for a while already. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? You've got my attention. Let's hear this idea. Here's the deal. I have some other um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. Who's Nelson Latimer? Malcolm's kid. An arrogant little pissant. But useful, since he has all the money in the world and likes to think of himself as a budding crime boss. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. <coughs> My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. <laughs> My plan is simpler. We kill you now and them later, right? That's just hilarious, right? Uh. I don't know. An awful lot of unknowns. Trust me, we can do this, no problem. The meeting's always in the same place. They always bring the same number of guys. They'll never know what hit them. I guess it's worth the risk. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise, you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. <laughs> What could go wrong ripping off a drug dealer in the wasteland? Um, Cook, you're going the wrong way, buddy. Going the wrong way, buddy. Oh my god, fine. Maybe later you could give me some pointers. Show me how to strike at a target's weakest spot. I keep getting hung up here. What's he gonna do? Kill you? Get in line, right? <laughs> Heard the raiders were cleared out of the old motorway tunnel beneath the city. Must have needed a lot of firepower to clear out that trash. Hmm. I don't think we keep moving, Scabber. I don't think we really needed a whole lot of ordnance for that. Where did oh, cook just? Oh, okay. I just ran in a weird angle. Right. 
<laughs> Move along. Please, no goddamn super mutants. Thank goodness. Nelson's starting to think he doesn't need me. Now we're starting to get a little more insight of uh, Cook's motivations here. He does take an interesting hey, route. I'm sure Trish won't hand over the chems until I get there. You see, I'm the one she trusts. She clearly, like, has chosen wrong. <laughs> Here we are. The meat is just ahead. There's always four of Morowski's goons. Trish, who's in charge, and then three other guys to unload the boat and wave their guns around. You should be able to work your way around these buildings to get a good angle on them. I'll wait for the shooting to start, then join in from here. Remember, we can't afford to let anybody get away. What about Nelson? I'll deal with Nelson. You worry about Morowski's crew. Now, are we all set? Sounds good. Alright. Just in case Kate decides to uh, get all pissy. Relax. I'm sure he'll be here any minute still. I completely fucking <laughs> airmailed that. Let's try that again. How they didn't react to me with two mini nukes sailing over their head, I have no idea. That was a little better. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's one way to deal with that. Don't move. You don't have to kill me. I won't tell. I swear. Good. Kate didn't get pissy about that. So I've done this before with uh, Piper, and I can't tell you many times she's just like, starts shooting at me for this. So it's like, you know what? Better not mess, mess around. Give me a reason not to kill you. I don't need a better reason than to shut her up. I'll tell Morosky it was Gunners, okay? You can trust me. No, you can't. <laughs> I'll give up Morowski's chem lab. This here, this is nothing compared to what he's got stashed there. Keep talking. Where do you think these chems come from? We got a lab. Right here in the Commonwealth. But you'll never find it on your own. Not without my help. Good deal, Darkstar. Thanks for hanging out. Depending on how late we're, uh, we play, we'll, we'll probably raid out to you. Have a good one, dude. And I will see you approximately. Are you playing? Uh, actually, let's do a quick shout out here before I. Uh, let's do some quick shout outs. Uh, do do do. I'm guessing you're playing uh, more uh, Shining Force 3. Assuming you didn't already uh, flee, <laughs> you may have already bounced, but at least I got a chance to do that for. Uh... Tell me what you know first. Well, OK, I'm trusting you, right? The lab is in the old four leaf fish packing plant on the water. Easy access by boat. Smart. Right. My idea, by the way, as was putting it in an area overrun by feral ghouls, and then recruiting an old ghoul crew to run it. I assume there's more to it than getting past the ferals. You assume right. 
The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. But now I do know the lab is there. Yeah. Well, you still won't get past the door without the password. So, I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you let me walk? I'll definitely kill you if you don't tell me. You bastard. Mm, I <laughs> guess I gotta trust you. The password is Applejack. There, now you've got everything. And I'm completely screwed forever. I hope you can live with that. Sorry. So that's that. I told you it was no problem. The money should still be on Nelson's body. And then there's these chems, which you'll need to sell somehow. But that's your problem now. I'm leaving town for good. Should make things easier for Paul to have me gone. Plus, there's no plausible way I could explain to Morowski how I wasn't involved in this unless I die here along with everyone else. Yeah, we'd all be better off without you, coward. <laughs> Good luck, Cook. I hope it works out for you. Don't you worry about me. I've been planning this move for a while. I'll be fine. We do like chems. At least I hit them the second time. I'll certainly take his, uh, well, he should, you know, I'll take that key too. Why not? So that was profitable. Although I did end up, uh, whoops. Hey. You know, missing with the first shot. So that sucks. The hell does that trip wire even trigger? Now well, we got this stupid ass super mutant. We'll deal with this asshole. Else did we trigger? Okay, good. <sighs> that was a problem. Now let's go see what this super mutant had on him. Probably at least a few missiles. Yeah, we'll take that. Good neighbor we go. Dog meat, who's a good boy? This is the state house. I don't even want to know what assholes they're fighting. Yep. Oh. Nice when Seraph actually remembers where he's going. Now we can begin Dangerous Minds.
which ends up usually being a very uh, dialogue heavy quest. But it is insightful for Kellogg's I motivation. I Cambridge ruins yesterday. Heard this weird distress call. Somebody's in a pickle. I already dealt with that, buddy. Whoever this brotherhood of steel is. I Hmm. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the loan. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Normally, I don't do third person, but this seems an appropriate time for that. Dr. Amari? Yes? Wait. I remember you. The memory inducement. Vault 111, right? What's this all about? Okay, fine. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. A guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? <laughs> Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. So the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay. So the tech is probably preserving the tissue. Injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick going to be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. 
Any idea of what I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. I love some of the sarcastic the options. <clears throat> Now, for some reason, this quest ends up being very buggy for a lot of people. I've been uh, lucky that it hasn't acted up too much, except for like one or two occasions. Brainwave migration <clears throat> the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. So we just run along the neurons like this from memory to memory. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as <clears throat> This may prove disorienting at first. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, Hello there. I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Hey, Rob, how are you, my friend? How's your weekend going? Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. What a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. I totally agree, Ghosty. It is nice getting a history on other characters. Now, what's also interesting is that you can even see in the uh, in the upper corner over there. Uh, if you like, if you were playing this again and you didn't want to go through this whole bit, you could literally just run through the rooms. And the game would let you do that. But for the sake of having a complete playthrough, I'm getting some of the extra dialogue here. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on the 
petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. Yeah, a little bit. It's going to be fine. You'll see. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. But we don't know anybody here. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit, the gunslinger from the hub, rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. And I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah, you gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. <sighs> I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Yeah, it's pretty neat because, um, so anyway, we're going through the memories of uh, Kellogg, the guy who uh, shot our husband and kidnapped our son. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <coughs> <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Found another memory to try. I'll connect you. So you'd think somebody who knew what that was like wouldn't do that to somebody else. But he literally gave me the exact same motivation that at one point he had. <clears throat> Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg. I'm glad you decided to meet with... I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. 
I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. So, you heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. You're with the Institute. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. <coughs> As you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis. I'll try to locate another memory as quickly as I can. Please try to remain calm. That's good. <laughs> Hopefully it's all. Just find it. Pod C6, down the hall near the end. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. So this is the very beginning of the game? I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller even if she somehow got thought out at least i know those institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them too if she could take me out they won't be able to hide from her for long this is the one here Open it. <laughs> Is it okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. Wait. No. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? 
I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Uh, all right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. But we did get some extra context before and after our own memory. Is that this whole setup in Diamond City was this part of some elaborate plan memory. of the old man's. So, good news, I think. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. And here we go. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. <laughs> Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter. Stronger and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. So now we've got the intel that we actually went in there for. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there?
There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And... Be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Now that I know that. I know that little nibble. <laughs> That's my cat being hungry. <laughs> yeah, hungry kitty kitty. Yeah, you went okay, okay, I'm I'm getting it. I'm getting yes. it. Okay, okay. So give me a second. That's actually a good time. Uh I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to pause this. I will be right back. I'm going to give Cleo some food because she is hungry. Not that she doesn't have tons of food in her bowl, but she needs her fresh food because she's a princess. But I need water anyway, so it all works out. I'm going to be back in a minute or two. I'll, I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, we're coming. You hungry, baby? I know you're hungry. It's all right. Come on. Good girl. I know you're hungry. You want a treat, too?
go up. Oh. There we are. Marvelous. I have returned. Oof. Just gonna take me a second to reseat my headphones here. All right, thank you for waiting very much. I do appreciate it. Let's go back to the game. Ah, oh, marvelous. Eh. Okay. So yeah, depending on how bugged this quest can be, sometimes you have to shoot Dr. Amari. I can't even, like, not even joking, uh, to get her to, like, snap out of it. Uh, sometimes if you're on console, there are a couple of console commands you can do to fix this. Um, my previous YouTube video that I uploaded to this, uh, to my channel for this quest, I can't tell you many times I would get questions on, hey, I'm doing this, but it bugs out. So it mu it's, it's just really, really common. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing, I'll probably just end up putting in the description of this once I upload it to YouTube, what some of those common fixes are, or at least have been in my experience. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. You want to try for round two? Let's go. What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. We have to head into the Glowing Sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. That, or you could buy up all the Rad-X and Rad-Away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. Both solid options. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. <laughs> that works for now. And if you have Piper with you, this would be the part where you could ask Piper and she'll tell you about... Um... Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. No, yeah, we're not doing that. Really. You ain't one of them Diamond City types, are you? <laughs> These fucking guys. All right, but we do want to. One thing I do want to do here is uh, let's go back to the castle. Let's just fast travel there, and let's tidy up some of my inventory. We should get to maxing out Kate fairly quickly now. Of course, it's raining like hell. And of course, we've fixed the walls since the last time we were here. Well, let's uh, welcome back. Let's go in here. Oh, actually, let's grab some of these other weapons from. Kate and Dog for that matter. Yeah, give me these. Yeah. Better be worth it. Heads up. Come on. Give me. What do you have? You have big boy. You don't need a pipe pistol. Uh crap. No, we'll keep that for now. Alright. Let's go in here. I don't need a kneecapper. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that either. Yeah, that ended up sucking. But we're not going to keep that either. We've got Pikmin's Blade, so we don't need this or this. Don't need that pipe pistol either. Okay, things we will do, however. We already have the best one of that. Good, we already have the best one of that. Scope, we probably have all this. Okay, good, we have all that stuff. Let's go. We have the shield barrel. All right, we could do that. Okay, what do we need for that? Ah, oh, we need science. Damn. Still so close, but we could install that one and at least improve 
the gauze rifles capacitors. So let's do that for slightly better damage. Capacitor boosting coil would be nice, but oh well. Can't do that. We already have a combat scope on it, which is good. We could put the suppressor on it now, and that we shall definitely do. Now we're going to do a shit ton of more damage with that. Is there anything that we... Is there anything on here that we have that we could put on here now? It's plus 10 damage when aiming down sights. Well, that's pretty nice. Okay, we have plenty of legendary microchips. We could build ourselves an instigating gauze rifle. Yes, we shall. Perfect. I don't think we've got anything better here. But just for the shits and giggles of it. Yes! We will do the exceptional damage. One for grip. We've got those. We've got the compensator. Painless slide. We've got all this shit. Okay. We're good there. Righteous Authority, let's take a look. What can we do with you? Yes. Let's do a little better with that. Yeah. Well, the sniper barrel would be good. Fire rate's the same. I'm trying to think if there's any reason why not to do that. Reduced ammo capacity, poor hip fire capacity. I guess because the recoil sucks so bad. But it's got exceptional damage and superior range. Yes. <laughs> That's really a no brainer. Beam focuser. Superior range and accuracy, better recoil, uh, then yes. I don't think anything really... Yeah, now the beam splitter kind of sucks. But yeah, we'll do the fine-tuned beam focuser. There we go. Alright, now Dance's weapon is much better. Gauze rifle's definitely better, and that was already as good as it was going to get. Perfect. Let's put all that in there that we can. And now we can cruise over here. We can drop off a lot of this. <sighs> Someone's sleeping in my fucking bed. Damn, that pisses me off. Fragrenades were okay. Frag 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 grenades were good with those. I'll take one nuka grenade, but I'll toss two plasmas in here. Yep, those are fine. Okay, we don't need that many bottle cap mines unload a bunch of this. I don't need that many stealth boys in here. Perfect. Good. Yep, the deliverer is in here. Let's take a look at anything else that might we want, want to put in here. Okay, militia hat. I won't do that. <sighs> Fuck. I have a purpose for these knight uniforms, Oh, you know what? I should have probably broken that down when I was over there. But you know what? We'll just store these for now. Mm. How do I want to do this? Okay. Inventory management. Sorry. Bear with me a second. While we do that, inventory management's important in any game. Right, squirrel bits. That. Those will eventually be very useful for that. I ended up not needing any of them. Yeah, we could put these in here. Don't need that. Man, I still have a lot of weight, though. I think it's probably... has something to do with this? Look alive. Yep, dog meat. You're going to carry some of these. Yes. You're going to carry that knight uniform. Oh, 30 armor fatigues can go in here. We'll make uh, Minutemen uniforms out of that. 
Why do I still have 145 pounds? Or is that just how much some of these things weigh now that I've modified them? Am I forgetting something? Oh, right, all the chems we're carrying. Right, right, quite right. Ahem. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Chems. We like XP. So that's one of the nice parts about having a lot of that, like, sheer accumulation of chems. We can now get a lot of XP just by making Psycho Jet out of Jet and Psycho. And then we'll probably we'll make uh, buff tats with the mentats and the buff, uh, buff out that we've got. Actually, I should have taken some Mentats before doing this and slept to maximize the XP gain we get from it. That would have been smart, but we're already here. We've gone this far. I'm not going to reload and then do that again. The next time I do a batch of chems, I will do that, though. Or I'll do this and then be like, hey, you know, if you were smart, could have done uh, you know, this other thing instead. Yeah, we'll make Berry Mentats. Perfect. We'll make some day tripper. We'll make some great mentats for sure. Oh, we don't have whiskey for that, huh? Okay, we could make medex. There's really no point to do that. All right. Oh, and that's what I needed to, uh, chemist for was for ultra jet. But I actually like psycho jet a little bit better. To be honest. Okay. So now. One of the things we will do. God, I've got so many blood packs. My goodness. I'm going to store this in a chem station in there, but yeah, we're just going to store all the buff tats in here. Still most of the psycho jet. Medex. Yeah, we'll eventually sell a lot of this. I'm not all that worried about it. There we go. That's where a lot of my weight was. That's where a lot of that weight was. Okay, we still have enough of this. Good deal. Okay. We've now dealt with that. Let's save. And let's go to this love lock. Okay. You know... Actually, before we do that, let's go over here and let's see what we actually need for the better. Okay. Manhunter Duster. Let's go to Hybrid Weave. What would we need for Hybrid Weave 4? Science 3? But even still, the benefit of that is not all that great. Hybrid Weave 5 is certainly not bad. The difference between that and that is really not that big of a deal. I'm not really all that worried about that. Ultralight build. Ah, we can do that now. We shall. You're not ultralight. Good. I'm not going to worry about doing that to the other ones. But that one is late, nice at least. Hmm. So yeah, we need science and armor to be one higher for the best hybrid weave. But even still, we're still talking about pretty incremental. That's not that big a deal. All right, so right now we're still doing pretty good with all that. So our, uh, our resistance is now 157-ish, basically 150. We've got poison resistance and uh, and fire resistance as well as radiation resistance. We're doing we're doing okay, right? I think that's what that is. I think that's poison resistance. Yep. All right. So in that case, let's level up. And I think, strange as this might sound. Oh, right, we need to start buffing up uh, dog meat's attack dog things. Because we need to... Yeah, because when dog meat's a chance it'll cripple. 
causing a bleed. Yeah, we really need to start working on these. I don't necessarily need to worry about agility. Although, boy, blitz would be nice. We have a lot of things we still need to do. That is certainly no question. And I need to, oh, if we boost endurance, we'd get 43 fucking hit points. <sighs> if we boost agility, we'd be even more... Although we're sneaking pretty well at this point. So let's do attack dog. Since we've got dog meat with us. And now what we'll do, we'll head back out. We won't start doing a lot of real hardcore settlement building for a little while. I do want to get to a certain point in the story where it makes a lot more sense to be, um, although we're actually sort of at one of those points now because we're actually at the story point where we were at with my previous playthrough. We fight. We finally caught up. We need to go into the glowing sea, glowing sea, to track down Virgil. And I need. I'm gonna start needing 10 millimeter ammo again. Well, let's head back up and let's do the uh, Cabot House quest. Who is that? That's got to be a provisioner. I don't know. It's just Finn from this fucked up dolphin. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's some sort of crazy, scary death claw. That's awesome. Because, you know, I didn't need to sleep tonight. Holy fuck. Switch to that. Critical hit. There we go. That is what you use critical hits for. Fuck that thing in particular. What do you have? Freezing 44 pistol? That's not terrible. Not fun getting caught up on a fence. check them out. Okay, no, I do want to be over this way. What the hell is fighting over there? Shit. No, I won't. <laughs> was actually a pretty decent job on our part for once. Yeah, I'll take your frag grenades. And I'll take this desk fan. Sure. Oh, right. I was going to store all the extra shit I had. Eh, it's fine. At some point, we also have to go over to Vault 88 and get that all taken care of. But I want to do Cab... I think at this point, Cabot House makes the most amount of sense right now. Because we do need to get something from the Cabots that will help us mightily with going into the glowing sea. That is not a good sound. Fuck. Super mutants. Make sure. Good. Bastard. Is it just me? Or is this too easy? Well, I hit that super mutant master in the head like three different like five different times. My like, god damn. 
Super Mutant Master really didn't want to go down. Hit me a decent number of times. That sucked. But oh well. Him. Microphone. Thank you. Easiest way. Let's just go through this. Fuckers. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> well then, I wasn't expecting super mutants to be firing at a sentry bot, but here we are. Back the way we came. <laughs> there we are. Okay. So we'll take our usual route through the Boston ruins to get up to Cabot House, where we entertain a very interesting uh, eccentric figure. Actually, what we'll do, we're just going to fast travel to Good Neighbor. We're going to buy some ammo off Cleo. The friendly neighborhood of Sultron. Stay free, sister. Hey, Cleo. I've got a weapon here for every situation. I've got a few minutes to browse. Yeah, we don't need to hear her whole spiel. A discount. Take more of those. I will definitely take more of those. Let's see. What do we got to trade? What have I got? Flamer fuel. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Perfect. Thank you, Cleo. Don't know why there are just cans laying down on the street, but I will certainly pick them up. Wonder how many times I walked right past them and didn't even see those cans there. Or just thought that they would be owned. Hmm. <laughs> well, that was some raider eating it. Just on the other street. That's fucking hilarious. We'll go see what the story is over at uh, Cabot House. Good. This is still empty. The Raiders haven't restored the garrison outside yet. And come on. Man. There we are. Man. Well, that's not ominous walking up here and then getting covered in fog. Okay. What the hell is a building that noise doing in a room down city like this? Uh, why can't I activate the center com? I'm here if you want help, Jimmy and Matt open. Because I talked to the sentry bot. God damn it, it's probably because I talked to the fucking sentry bot. <sighs> Seraph, you dumb bastard. Edward Deegan summoned me up here, dude. Go away. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. <sighs> come on. Let's go meet the boss. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. <laughs> oh boy. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. You just have to. He'll be right with us. Oh, damn. 
clearly I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Damn it. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? There might be some valuable stuff inside. Let's go check it out. Now, before <laughs> we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? <laughs> I could just imagine a sarcastic answer would be like, I don't even believe there's intelligent life on Earth. Oh, <laughs> there actually is one. The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. You think aliens created human civilization? This is plain daft, is what it is. Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? <laughs> for starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. And just like that, we're off <laughs> on this fun little trilogy of adventures. I was really worried that that was going to glitch out with the sentry bot. I shouldn't have talked to it. Thankfully, just walking away a little bit and then coming back sorted that out. I don't have any raiders over here, do we? We're gonna drag that junk around. Are you kidding? A gold-plated flip lighter? That thing's fucking awesome, Kate. Seriously? I'm pretty sure there are raiders around here. No, oh, but I don't see them. Okay, I guess not. Really thought there were. But that's the bridge we want. Nothing here? Okay, yeah, I already scavenged all these. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, those are Minutemen. Cool. Those are my guys. Excellent. Huh? Huh? Yeah? Come on. Yep. The sky is beautiful sometimes. <laughs> but while we're at it, we're also going to go up and visit the slog. You know, I don't remember coming up this way for the Freedom Trail. But, correct, the Freedom Trail does come up this way towards Bunker Hill. I just forgot it was here. Thank you. There we go. Nothing like going close range and just going ape shit. <laughs> That'll help out with the crypt meter. We needed that. That was sort of fortuitous, actually. Good old constitution. Yeah, why not? We'll grab both of those. What the hell? No, it's probably that. Just because I haven't saved in a while. Oh, lovely. Rad Scorpion. Swore I heard Alrighty then. Fucking rad scorpions, man. One of the worst enemies in the fucking game. Moving right along here. We could drop this stuff off at, uh, we do have this as a settlement. Yep, kind of crossing. Although we haven't connected it to our... I'll have to do that at Green Top Nursery. In fact, that's what I'll do. So we'll take this road up. They want us to clear out that again, which is kind of a pain in the ass. We'll clear that out before we go back to Bunker Hill. There's a fun uh, fun quest that Kay gives us also, or uh, that Kessler gives us. Yes. You're dead. Pulse for you. Slightly. What was that? Okay, it was just the sound of me going through the puddle. <laughs> over there okay picking up the pace yeah, we'll take cup flower what the fuck was that whoa fuckers whoa we got a bunch <laughs> fucking raider make me shoot dogs little bastard There you are. Oh, 
Well, that's fucked up. <laughs> Who's that? Of course, our friend is south of Diamond City. That vicious mongrel is playing with a fucking stuffed animal. But unfortunately, it's hostile. If it got close to us, it would have attacked us. I've never seen a vicious uh, mongrel attacking a uh, teddy bear before. That was, that was fucking cool. Actually, it made me feel really fucking bad. What can you do? Gonna attack you. Gotta deal with it. Alright, let's check in here. See what's doing. Lucas, what's going on, buddy? Stuff all this in here. Okay, perfect. Good. Uh, the dog collar can go in there. Yep. Good. Uh, doo -doo -doo. See what's doing. People, beds, eight. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, somebody has been assigned to that. Good. Okay. I don't know why somebody's not at it at the moment, but they've been assigned to it. Water. Yeah, it's fine. That'll help with the happiness. Question is... Ugh, I don't want to deal with you guys right now. You go to County Crossing. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Now then, head north and a little east. Slog is one location I want to go to. Yeah, that's not where I want to go at the moment. We want to go a little more east. We'll go to the slog first. They're probably not going to talk to us at the moment. I mean, they'll chat with us a little bit, but they're not going to give us the quest to actually get the slog. Got to deal with uh, Out of the Fire, which is Finch Farm. For sakes. Oh, hey, Sparky. What you doing, Sparky? Good boy. Yeah, Sparky decided to come say hello again. Okay, so there's Saugus Ironworks. We want to go up here. There we are. This is eventually going to be a very valuable settlement for us. Welcome to the slog. We're the only tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? It's pretty clever, making a tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. You could have filled it with water and used it for swimming. But that's just me talking crazy. I appreciate your saying so. When I came across this place, it was the first time I'd seen anything like it. It seemed like a shame not to use it for something. You probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City, until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome, and that's mainly why I started up this farm. It looks like you've done well for yourselves. It's a good start, yeah, and I'm proud of all the work we've done. Still, I think we can do more. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, <coughs> with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. Anything I can do to help? As a matter of fact, there is. We can't sell tarberries without traders, and trade caravans need safe roads. There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their turf, including traders. 
It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. Good. I didn't know what we were going to do. Well, that's cool, actually. <clears throat> Tighten this. Um. Hello? <gasps> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, didn't mean to ignore you. Just got caught up in my work again. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't she? Yeah, it's nice. Really nice. You've got an eye for them too, huh? It's a genuine Getty of Buttercup. The 2076 Special Edition. Best toy on the market before the war. It's a shame, though. I don't have all the parts to get this old girl working again. Don't suppose you happen to have a spare crate of toy parts on you? I love how there's like this gigantic fight going on while we're having this conversation. <laughs> what do you need? Omnidirectional servos, piezoelectric actuators, superconductive mesh wiring. This was top of the line stuff even before the war. You won't find it just lying around. Sorry, no. Of course not, but mm, I think I know where you could find some. Not the most glamorous job, but I'm willing to pay. You interested? All right, I'll do it. Thanks. This really means a lot to me. There's only one place to look for parts like this. The old Otama Toys factory, south of Quincy. Not gonna lie, it's at the far end of the Commonwealth. That whole area's a death trap. Gunners and worse. You, on the other hand, well, you look like you've seen everything. I'm sure you can handle it. Now, where was I? <laughs> Let's see what the hell is shooting out here. All right, so a bunch of forged from the ironworks. Caravan guard. Forged gunners. Oh, cute. Fuck sakes. Yeah, I don't have a good view of that. Or this asshole for that matter. Oh no, you don't. There we go. Enough out of you. Let's try. deal with these forged while they're here because fuck them. And since we're here for this shit anyway. Fine. Thought they were gonna talk to me, but I guess not. Oh, 
Oh, you bastard, you ducked. <laughs> and I love that kill shot. Oh, definitely. You know what? I'll take that. I need more men. Second gone the next. Who moves that fast? Alright. I'll definitely take military fatigues. That works for me. Alright. Now then. Head up to Parsons here. We'll also deal with the little surprise that's over here. Oh, here's Mutated Fern. If we needed it, which we don't. This is a nice quick way across the uh, channel here. And it's over. <laughs> All right, glowing death claw, lovely. As usual, a couple of high caliber bullets right into its belly. Takes it right down. We've accomplished. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Shit. Fucking bad scorpions. And they make the most eerie sounds, too, when you're fighting them. There it is. Parsons. This place is creepy as fucking hell. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new girl. So this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Though it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kinda like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're gonna finally get rid of them. So one thing you could do... ...to like cheese this is you can go to the building that's just north of here, lay a bunch of mines because the raiders aren't there yet, and then when you go back after talking with her, then they are, and the mines all go off. So you could just, like, cheese it completely. Like, and I mean, like, extra thick cheese. And, uh, <laughs> take care of the raiders up here without firing off a shot. Theoretically. I usually don't like to do that because that's totally immersion breaking, but it is a technically a strategy that works. Let's see where we work our way up to the creamery here. Oh, 
but theoretically could also sneak by them all, too. I could actually sneak by. I could do a stealth boy, but you know what? Let's just try. She just shot him, thinking him they were being betrayed. That was awesome. That was hilarious. She totally shot him with the shotgun. I've never seen that before. That was amazing. That's alright. They're gonna be more raiders, so I gotta be careful. Here we'll take the Choi truck. We'll take the Choi rocket ship. We'll take that. Sure, we'll do that. Nice. Uh, yeah, sure. We are going to take a little more scrap than we would normally, only because we're going to need it when we go back to the slog. Nothing else up here? I guess not. Ah, this is what I was looking for. Pick this. Nice. Nice. Ooh, a nuke mine. Ah, now Kate idolizes us. Cool. Very cool. Good. Let's get a little away from here. Make sure there aren't any other fucking raiders. And then we'll have a nice little chat, she and I. Man, this place is fucking eerie as shit. Alright. So now, where is Kate? Okay, Kate. Where are you, Kate? I'd rather have this conversation now than before we go to Lynn Woods. If you'd like to come out. Oh, fuck's sake, it's fine. I'm pretty sure there are a couple of other raiders around here. That's why I... Yeah, that's what I was worried about. She aggroed him. This is gonna <laughs> the fight I did not want to have. I want to just avoid these assholes. But oh well. convenient to uh, level up. I wonder if these raider assholes actually wounded Kate. Oh, yay, you were. Okay, well, it's fine now, though. <clears throat> Do you have a minute? I think we should talk. I always have time to listen to you, Kate. Good. Because this isn't easy for me to say, but I want to get it right. Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me. The easy way out. Well, that's the past. You're not alone anymore. Then maybe you know what I'm trying to say to you. My life's been nothing but one huge failure after another. You've heard all my stories, and you know the prices I've paid. There were a few times when things got really bad, but I... I found myself staring down the barrel of my own shotgun. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. I guess I was praying that I could find a single decent scrap of humanity in this fucked up world. And then, what you did for me back there at Fog 95, it was like the answer to those prayers. That's the first time in my life I fully depended on someone else, and they didn't let me down. God damn it, I'm making a mess of this. <laughs> You're not messing anything up. 
You're doing just fine. I'm trying to hold it together. Maybe I should just get to the point. The longer we've been spending time together, the more I'm beginning to realize what you mean to me. And I'm not just talking about you watching me back or sharing a drink together. I mean more than that. Before we met, I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am. For better or for worse. Look, I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes and tell me you feel something too. Of course I do. I'm in love with you, Kate. You... you're what? You said... You're in love with me. I... I didn't know. I mean, I felt something between us. But I thought it was something else. Why? Why would you fall in love with someone as screwed up as I am? I'm going for the harem ending, of course. <laughs> because... You're special to me, Kate, and... I don't think I'd be happier with anyone else. You... You really mean that? This has to be the first time I put all my cards on the table and didn't end up losing everything. You don't know how much this means to me. To have someone special in my life. I promise you. I mean to make the most of it. There we go. Now we got Kate's perk. This is excellent. Now we go to Lynn Woods. We're going to go scope that whole thing out. Clear that location. Oh, let's also level up. Oh yeah, gunslinger time. That was easy. I'm actually surprised I didn't see that the first time. Where the raiders came from. Because messed up gals are more fun, right? <laughs> We like glass. Jokes aside, though, I really do enjoy uh, Kate's kind of story. And now we have some fun. <laughs> it is fun to watch the uh, Death Claw just absolutely destroy the Raiders. Man, this never gets old. Oh, did they take out the... Ah, oh, they took out that Death Claw, but they got another now to worry about. <laughs> I just tossed them like a rag doll. Oh. We got some sort of weather coming in. Fuck. Well, I'm not going to see shit from here now. Let's go high caliber. Oh, you know what I made? That may have been the smoke from a grenade that had uh, wafted it up. Wow, I've got a lot of grenades. Holy fuck. Nope. It's whatever this is. Oh, it's because I went indoors. And now we investigate the carnage. Ah, this, these are settlers. We'll unlock the steamer trunk. Of course, that one raider at the very top had the, uh, or the one settler at the top had the key to it. 
But why use a key? When you can get XP. Sweet. Problem is, you need to be able to see. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, I was seeing my problem with that. Shit. Bastard. Oh, come on. Oh, there's one behind me. Shit. <laughs> You're the one I definitely want to take out. Shit, shit, shit. Ow. Fuck. You guys are accurate with those things. You fucking see. Life me. Keep throwing grenades. Man. Alright. Take you out. Okay, this turned into a big god damn it. Hit me directly with a fucking grenade. So normally I don't even go down there. I don't know why that uh, I mean I could just wait. Fuck, that sucked, man. That weird ass. Well, this time we got killed by raiders. But yeah, that was a really weird weather that moved in and then we just couldn't see. So normally what I do is I stay up here. Hopefully next time this weather won't come through. I mean, we were sort of holding our own until they fucking hit me with a uh, grenade. So that sucked. That was like pinpoint accuracy too. I think they, la I think they hit me directly with that grenade. So yeah, that legendary raider was pretty accurate with it, unfortunately. We're gonna do this again. Hope the fucking death claws do their job for us this time. Yeah, he had. It seemed like he had aimbot, right? That was crazy. That was fucking bananas, man. It was fucking crazy. We were doing okay too. I mean, like we. I, I mean, I was wounded, but I wasn't like near death. Um, just. What can you do? I mean, hit me in the face with a grenade. Not much you could do about that. Thankfully, I'm not doing a permadeath run. Although, if I were doing a permadeath run, I wouldn't have even tried to go down there. I would have just stayed up here with uh, the gauze rifle and just used vats to pick them off, which is now what I'm going to do. But uh, I thought it would be all right to go down there. I didn't. I also, I underestimated how many raiders would be down there. That's that's my fault. <laughs> Holy shit! I think that raider's gonna die. <laughs> God damn. That also explains how that death claw died too. That one raider must have been just like hitting it with uh, grenades left and right. Take out that death claw. Whatever. Can't see me. Can't attack me. Doesn't fucking matter. Nope. You're not escaping. Wow. Yeah, the belly is really the only place to really strike those. Yeah, it's just running. All right, I guess down we go. But at least we don't have that extremely weird weather pattern this time. Be nice to actually be able to see.
This time I know where I'm going. Damn. Almost. Do I went too far? Yes. Okay. Nice. We'll take that. Okay. There they are. It is nice when I can see them coming. Much easier. Marvelous. Cleared. Excellent. Now we clear Breakheart Banks. We're in good shape. And we got the magazine we wanted to as well. Fucking guy with the grenade, though. Ugh. Well, bound to happen eventually. Still, we've done a pretty decent job of not dying for the most part. For the most part. We die pretty seldomly. I think that was what? The fourth death of this run? No. Shit. All in all, not terrible. Uh, out there, somewhere. Damn. You can't hide forever. <laughs> yep, didn't know where I was. Sure, bring a board to a gauze rifle fight. Stupid super mutant. Dumb assholes. Alright. Now to scavenge. Take the 45 rounds. Go. Doo -doo -doo. I mean, I could take his assault rifle and break it down there, but not really worth that. Uh, I don't need more rat meat. I will take the corn, however. Now then. How did you not hear all that shit going on? <laughs> Blew his fucking head off. I will take that. Good old lucky. Uh, no, we don't need any of that stuff. Perfect. 
Now we head right back over to the slog. That is the slog right there, right? No, that's Green Top Nursery. I'm going this way. Here's the only issue with this way. You can see the road is not entirely clear. scavenge in here. So now I'm debating on what is the next best companion to pick up and I think what we'll do is once we get the slug unlocked hopefully what I could do is just build a robot because the slug just has ghouls in it anyway so it really doesn't matter uh, uh, happiness wise. Uh, we could send the robot to Green Top Nursery. That will pick up everything here. Why is there a caravan thing there? The world wonders. Get yourself in home, friend. Oh, you're still alive. That either means you haven't gone after those super mutants yet, or good news. Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Damn straight, buddy. Of course, one of the things that makes the slog a little bit of a challenge is... There's the workshop. Is that it uh, doesn't already come with defenses. All that in there. Do the radiated blood, squirrel bits, death claw meat, a lot of meat. Holy shit. Yep, that's all perfect. Good, 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 good. Uh, yes. Good deal. Okay. So, utmost defense uh, importance, if I can. I don't know if I can, but it would be really nice. Robot workbench. Damn it. I can't build the work for a robot workbench. I've got... I'm short on gears, oil, screws, fiberglass. I'm short on just about everything. Fuck. All right. So that's not the end of the world. Uh, what I'm going to need to do probably means I can't build any turrets either. Yep, can't build any turrets because I have zero oil. Yeah, that's the only annoying thing about the slog. But, we're here now, so maybe what I will do is just cruise over to Greentop Nursery and send one of them to the slog. It'll be alright. We'll just do that really fast. Thankfully, Greentop Nursery is not far. May as well. We're about to go to a settlement. Nope. My endurance is too weak. <laughs> we are perfect. A little weird not seeing anybody at it, but. Oh well. Not the end of the world. Perfect. A slog. Perfect. Good. Now then. Now we go back. <laughs> it really is that simple. I mean, I could have just reassigned any of the slogs, uh, ghouls to do it, but I think everybody's employed. So when you, um, so the problem with that is if you, uh, if you do that, then the slog actually produces less. So it makes a little more sense. 
just to assign somebody else. Or if you had the materials to build a radio beacon, wait till somebody else shows up. Do, 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 do. Okay. The rest of this fencing will keep, but uh, an artillery piece we will build. somewhere. Perfect. That works. Okay. What we'll also do... Slog definitely tends to attract a lot of undue attention. Not appreciate. Now then, it's uh, who's over here? Just wander over here, assign it to the artillery piece, and we are done. Excellent. Okay. And just like that. Slog is now a fairly depend defendable outpost. <laughs> yeah, these people are safe now. For sure. Hey, Doc Weathers. I love how a lot of these uh, merchants will wander around, too. All right, so I am starting to get hungry. That is definitely turning into a problem for Seraph. I do need to go back to Cabot House and return the serum, but I think what we're going to do is I'm going to fast travel to Vault 81 where we're going to get our next companion starting next stream. And I think that'll be the right play. We'll get our next companion. We'll go back to the Cabot House quest line. And we'll start working away from there. I do like that plan. In fact, we're going to fast travel there first. Just because Seraph tends to have a tendency to forget things. And then we're going to wrap this up. See who's on and we'll raid out to somebody. Hope everybody's weekend is continuing to go well. Oh my goodness gracious, we got a sand. You know what, that's probably the weather that was coming in through last time. Um, goodness gracious. Yeah, it was really weird. It was just very, very obscured. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna save. We're gonna save because Seraph's stomach is rumbling and I require food and sustenance. And it's, this has been a pretty, Pretty good length stream, uh, four and a half hours. Like we've been we've been playing this for a little while. I could I could go for a break. So let's see who's on. Let us see who's on. We'll mute the tab because that tends to happen. 
Uh, oh, Kara's on. Let's go raid Kara for a change. I'm, I'm. He's always raiding me. This will be awesome. Yeah, let's go raid Kara Jitsu and see what they're doing. <laughs> Most excellent raid time. So yeah, while we figure that out, let's uh, do this. And while I set this up, I will give a quick update. So, uh, but yeah, my plan will be for tomorrow to resume playing East 4, the remake of East 4, rather, Memories of Soseta. That'll be fun. I'm really looking forward to that. That game has been uh, a delight. I'm, I'm kind of surprised I had not played it up, uh, up until this point. Now, granted, it also hasn't been around for all that long, but at the same time, um, I'm kind of surprised that... Um, that it's taken me this long to play it. So I'm really, really glad that you guys suggested I play that. It's been a lot of fun, and I will be playing that tomorrow. Um, so in the meantime, as uh, the raid here gets queued up, I hope everybody has a great Sunday. I will see you guys later if I don't end up seeing you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your week. And until next time, I will see you guys and ladies and gents on the next one. Until later, ciao!